Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to whatever this is. <laughs> so, I'm Steve from Mac84. Welcome to another live stream. Let me know if the audio and the video is good. I'm doing this from a different computer and a different setup. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But, we're here. So, yay. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't worry. It will go long. It most definitely will go long. And, yes, it is big. And that's why there's a lot of crap in it. And that's why we got to clean up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So far, so good. Excellent, excellent. All right, yeah, I'm using a, a laptop to stream. Uh, I am using the Wi-Fi. <gasps> I know, I know, the Wi-Fi is bad. Everyone hates the Wi-Fi, but you know what? Apple gave this MacBook two USB ports. I'm using one for the camera and one for the microphone. We have no left, no ports left over for Ethernet, and uh, that's Apple's fault. I'm not buying a Thunderbolt bridge or using a USB hub. But that also allows me, exactly, Charlie, also allows me to take the laptop and walk you guys around. We'll see how zany we get. I don't know. But uh, there's there's a lot of crap I got to clean up. Um, so, first off, this area that the laptop is on used to be uh, where I actually filmed a few of my earlier videos. So the Apple III video I did. So let me take the camera up here. Make sure I have some slack so I don't trip over anything. Let's see. Where this laptop is on this desk here, this is actually where I used to do some videos. And you can see there's a big gaping hole here. <laughs> a sink used to be here. A huge cast iron sink. And normally, normally when you mount a sink, the ridges of the sink overlap on the wood. You know, so the ridges of the sink sit like this. So when you remove the sink, the sink comes up, all right? So let's, let's just be sure everyone understands this. Usually when you install a sink, the sink has a overlap, a lip, and the sink lifts up. Well, but the sink that used to be here, the sink that used to be here was not installed like that. <laughs> the sink that used to be here was totally not installed like that. So, obviously, I am removing some of this stuff, and this sink is one of the things to go. So, this bench, this whole area, this is going to be eventually cleaned out. Um, that is not what I am doing today because that's going to require some extra work. What I am doing is using this trash bin here and cleaning up a bunch of crap in this basement. So yes, my sink has sunk. I love that. That is excellent. So what I am doing is just using a container lid right now in the most cheapest way and just using that temporarily for a tripod. And so it is a quite spacious basement. It goes all the way back there. Now, I will say that what had happened, if, if you didn't uh, follow me on Twitter or hear my ranting elsewhere, uh, I had a little bit of a flooding problem. And um, instead of the water going down the pipes, water went up the pipes. And so, yeah, there was some flooding and you could see sort of where that water came through. Uh, thankfully, there was a G3 tower here, but the plastic uh, feet lifted it up and it was not harmed. So, uh, I've been to Home Depot more times than I'd like to admit. Uh, this past weekend but yeah floods suck um and uh all the the pipes and everything have been fixed so that's all uh, a problem that has been squared away and what uh, my father helped me with was fixing the pipes down here because there used to be a sink so the sink used to be well up there but now it's down here uh, and it's just resting on some stuff it's too heavy to move but anyway um that big pipe is where the water went out uh, you can ignore the little pipe on the ground that doesn't exist that doesn't go anywhere and that was the hot and cold water coming into the sink, which we put caps on. So all those pipes below there prevented me from storing anything down here, which was quite annoying because there's an eight foot long desk here. That's, that's how long this is. It's, it's eight feet long, the, the structure right here. And um, so essentially all I could really fit under here was on the left side. You can see that EMAC <laughs> hanging around there. So the EMAC was pretty much the only thing I could stuff in there uh, and maybe some small bins and maybe uh, this, this drawer thing uh, was over there. So it's now over here just so we have some space. So no, I'm not taking a sledgehammer to the sink. You know why? Because that is a cast iron porcelain sink and apparently people like that and apparently they go for at least a hundred bucks or so. I'm not throwing away a hundred bucks, especially the plumbing bill that I just had to pay. So that is sitting there until someone on Facebook or uh, 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 offer up 
uh, actually wants to buy the damn thing. <laughs> I'm no fool. I'm not getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of that. Uh, no, I think I think uh, Macintosh 2 is too small to fit in that hole. <laughs> way too small, retro techie. Way too, way too small. I did not say hello to everybody, so my apologies. Let me uh, scroll through the list here. We just whoop, just kind of got off on a on a, on a little tangent there. So uh, we it's 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 a money pit, money sink. We have Trina, we have Jay, we have David, we have uh, Apple on Apex, we have Dusty, we have uh, let's see, Sad Mac, Charlie. Uh, let's see who else. Retro Computer Guy. We have Mitchell. We have Drew. We have Nick. Let's see. Anybody else? Any latecomers? Josh. Original Collector. And Retro Techie. And Christopher. And Distro Hopper. And George. Okay. And Matthew. All right. Sweet. So, yeah. I'm in my basement. Usually you see me streaming at my desk, which is over there. And that, that's sort of in that region there. These are a bunch of boxes and everything. So what had happened was, what I was trying to explain before before I got sidetracked, surprise, um, I had water come up through the pipes and it started flooding. So that has been resolved, but I was basically using this basement bathroom for storage because we don't really, we, we have one bathroom, we don't need multiple. So all these boxes and bins and stuff were stored in there. Now thankfully, uh, the boxes and things were up high, the plastic bins with a plastic bottom they were stored on the bottom. So even though there was some water, hey Leo, even though there was some water, um, nothing really got damaged or anything. Uh, the only thing that did get water on it was this Aztec power supply from Macintosh uh, 2CI or 2CX. This was literally, it was either like this or like this. And when I lifted it up, it was dripping, but we're not gonna plug that in. We're gonna let it dry out. And this needs to probably be recapped anyway. So you know what? Uh, that's not a big problem. So yeah, sink giveaway. Yeah, I am not lifting that up. There's a reason why it's it's there, and there's a reason why my shoulder hurts. Because yesterday, I pulled that out. Well, I gracefully let it uh, gravity take itself over. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so the plan is, the plan is this room uh, is well, it's not a room yet, but gave away sort of what I'm doing. But you see where those wires are there. Okay, those are all the electrical wires coming from the circuit breaker here. And you see there's a pole. So the idea is, the idea is, hey Kate, the idea is to clean up all this crap. Trash bins here, you know, it's gonna take me a while. I'm not gonna do it in one stream, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, gonna eventually put a wall up there. So where that pole is, which is about, let's say about eight feet away from me right now, where that pole is, there's gonna be a wall. So I'm gonna put a wall up there, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a wall here with the door. And this room will be approximately 13 by 8 feet by 12.9 feet. So almost a 13 by 14 foot room. Not too bad. So the idea is I'm going to move my streaming desk from over there. And it's going to be moved to over here. Yeah, the description's out of date. Sorry about that. But anybody who is watching the stream could probably understand that. Anyway, um, hey Madeline, how you doing? So the idea is to move that desk over here. Get rid of all this stuff, organize all this stuff, and make this a room. So this will be a 13 by 14 inch room. This will be all cordoned off. This is where um, the streaming will happen. This is where some storage will be. I'll have a little bit of a workbench. And I have two desks that you probably can't see because there's so much crap in the way. But the desk from my Quadra 800 video and the desk that has a G4 on it, they're both on wheels. And what's nice about that is even though I have, I, I'm planning to put some storage shelves here, what I will do is put those uh, little desks here and they're on wheels. So I could put them here. They're not going to take up too much space. When I have to access something from the shelf, I can go ahead and do that. So that's the plan for that. Uh, the ultrasonic cleaner used to sit here, right where the sink was. Uh, that is on a little desk with wheels and that is now in the bathroom because it makes sense. There's water in there. There's tile on the ground. Um, there's a sink there so I can empty it out. And it actually is a little bit of a buffer. So even though these walls are very thin, uh, if the ultrasonic cleaner is running and if I'm doing a stream, hopefully it would reduce some of that noise. So yeah, that's a uh, bathroom tour. Well, you don't really want to see the bathroom tour. There's, not, there's nothing, there's a toilet and a sink and the ultrasonic cleaner and a shop vac and some crap on the floor. There's not really, it's not, trust me, it's not exciting. Um, so the point of this stream is for me to get off off my butt 
and actually uh, s uh, cleans up. Oh, I have the, the USB microphone plugged in and the USB webcam plugged in. This is going to be... This is... This, this, <laughs> it is a 1950s toilet and sink. So the joke, the joke that uh, I make is that it probably cost them $100 in the 1950s to build that bathroom. The sink, the bathroom, and the shower, which is a, basically a bent piece of metal with knobs that just say on, off on it. So, yeah. We'll get to that later. Let me clean up first. Otherwise, my wife's going to yell at me that I'm streaming and not cleaning like I told her I would clean up. So, no, she won't. I love her. She's very sweet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I have my trash bin here. I'm going to go through some of these boxes here. Uh, the boxes have more just miscellaneous crap in it. Um, <laughs> no, it has been cleaned. Trust me. Because of the issue that had uh, occurred, uh, that whole bathroom got Cloroxed. <laughs> so there was bleach everywhere. No recapping, please. So um, I'm going to start taking some of these boxes out. Um, how can I do this? I guess if I leave that there. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, how can you guys see what's in the box if there's no... I didn't think this through, did I? No. Not surprising, though. Um... <laughs> Oops. Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll figure something out. But anyway, let me uh, adjust some things here, just so. Yeah, I could just I could just move this, and we we do have a mallet. In case uh, anything happens, there is a mallet, so Mike would be proud. So let me just back this up. I am I do have the uh, the laptop here. Uh, on this little stand. Now I actually love these stands. These are Dell monitor stands. They were meant for laptops. And there's even some circuitry built in here and some power lights and stuff. I'm just using it as a stand because this could hold like 100 pounds. This is this is guaranteed to hold like 100 pounds. And hey Aaron, welcome to the chat. And so this is very sturdy. And what I actually had before, I had two of these, one here and one there. And there was a piece of wood on top. And that was like a makeshift desk. So that is what uh, that is what I had previously. But let me let me give you a bit of a, a wider view here. And so, and then this goes, now this is, this is a mess, I'm warning you, but yet this is what I need to clean. There are power books, there are classics, there's Apple service boxes up there. There's a 2GS monitor, there's a, a printer in there, if you can believe it, there's a printer hiding in there. And it's just, yeah, this is just, it's a mess. So, that is why we're cleaning today. That is why we're cleaning today. So, um, yeah, it's just sitting there, two cubes. Um, so I have another one of those stand things actually because I did I was using two of them. These are very handy, very very handy. That's not a lit modern printer. That's a LaserJet. What is it? HP LaserJet 5M. Yeah, not too modern. Yeah, these are these are very nice. So looks like your closet. I'm glad I'm not alone here with uh, the amount of messes and, and garbage that's in my basement. But I have to clean it up if I am going to be using this area to the best of its space. Uh, I do have a, a modern printer, not a modem printer, but a modern printer. Uh, actually, a, a printer with a fax machine is and technically a, a modem printer there, Charlie, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, so a modern uh, a modern printer I have um, is a, an, I have a Dell uh, laser, uh, laser printer that's color that's upstairs, so. Let me make the chat bigger so I can actually see what this is doing. Well, so this is this is the thing. So this these shelves here, they're actually not bad. So these are not not this plastic crap here. Ignore that. But um, the metal shelf here, I have two more of those in the garage. So the idea is, the idea is to put one here and one here. So I'll have, I'll have three of those. Those are about four feet wide each. So that will take up this exact spot. I'll have I'll have three of those shelves, and because um, I have two in the garage now, the garage is really tall. The garage is about 12 feet high because it's on the ground and the house is a bit up. So the garage is like really tall. So what the plan is to move those smaller shelves here, then I'll build new shelves just like I have uh, for the Macs over there, but I'll build them higher. I'll build them about 10 or 11 feet high. That way I can stack more stuff on them. I'll drill them into the wall so they can't fall over or anything. But the idea is they'll be much bigger and they'll be able to encompass and hold more stuff uh, than these were. When these were in the garage, they were fine. They hold stuff, but you know, if I had the extra space in there and it's going wasted, might as well even that up a little bit. So, all right. 
Yeah, well, I mean, this is what I got, though, and this this has been fine. I, I'm not noticing any bowing or bending. Uh, I've had this for at least three years now. I'm not going to go out and buy new shells unless somebody wants to donate a heck of a lot of money to me because I don't have that kind of cash to spend. <laughs> I really don't. That's that's why. Sorry. But these were like 100 bucks. I got them like two or three years ago. Um, I've really put a lot of junk on them, and they've held up well. So, All right, so let's get... Uh, into some bins here because you're just gonna watch me rant and talk about stuff for a while. But uh, all right, let's grab something. Ah. This is gonna go right in the sinkhole, I bet. All right, let's see. Uh, how can I do this? Put this up there. Oh, that looks worse. <laughs> Oops. Ten dollars for the sink. Eh, a little bit more, please. All right, so oh, this is so this this box is not only is, this is not full of junk, but it's stuff I have to to do. Cybico, who remembers a Cybico? Cybico, these are fun. These are fun. They were basically PDAs, but they were geared towards children. Um, a friend of mine had them in uh, had one in high school. The idea was it had a wireless antenna, so you could chat with people. And of course, it's lime green. So I picked this one up off eBay. Um, it's pretty much new in the box. I have to do a video on it sometime. I did take it out just to uh, just to take a look at it. I remember the ad was like Cybico C Y K B O or something or C Y B I K O. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so that's in the box. So it does look like a walkie-talkie. And look at that membrane keyboard. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows if doing that antenna swapping will do it? So we have this phone. Okay, I know what I was using this for. I was putting it around an LCD as I was moving something around. So everything just sort of ends up in bins. Um, speaking of bins, I'll have to get some empty bins so we can actually store stuff in there. So let me go get an empty bin. All right. Palm pilots are better, I'll say that. All right, so this is going in a container, not in the trash bin, but a container. What do we got here? We have a Goodwill find from 2017. Wireless G range extender, expander, whatever. So I don't know what I'm going to use this, but I'm going to put it in the bin because I'm not going to toss it right now. We got Max for Dummies. That's how I learned all my stuff. That'll go here. What is this? We got a hard drive. Samsung 560 megabytes. How about that? So I should I should put the hardware. Yeah, I'm gonna put that somewhere else. Let's see. Got some cables. I need a separate bin for some cables. I don't know what this goes to. On this episode of Hoarders, we look through Steve's basement. 9.5 volts max. I have no idea what this is for. I think this was this was from a, like a telephony set uh, in the at my old office they were just throwing away a bunch of cables I just took the whole bin obviously um, yeah so they're random cable uh, I should get a box or a bin for some here's a box no, that's too small uh, need a box for cables need a box for cables well I guess we could start with that one be too small it's too small makes a nice hat I don't think it's cereal though because it has a voltage line too I think it's something with phones but what what do I know I uh, oh here's here we go already got a cable in it so we're good well it did all right that's a Molex to the Macintosh LC or the quadra type ones there's there's no address on there. That's a brand new box. So nice try, Charlie. All right. So what else we got in here? Oh, we have a glorious uh, <laughs> Teleport 33.6 fax modem by Global Village. Ooh. Yeah, this is a serial uh, one. It's not even a geo port. I mean, come on. There we go. So that goes with the wires. It's wiry enough to fit in there. Uh, we have a yo-yo adapter. This one might actually work. 
So this is for uh, my iBook, one of my clamshells. It's in pretty good shape. Back in there. Here we got a compact flash card. Oh, I'm sorry, SD card reader, and a USB ca cable. This is uh, was this by Dazzle? Yeah, Radio Shack Dazzle branded. Yeah. Oof. It has been a while. My basement was preventing me from streaming, and now I'm streaming in my basement. How about that? All right, so we have uh, oh, this is a floppy cable for a PC. This is a charger for an iPod Shuffle, which I never ordered, but I ordered stuff from uh, Monoprice, and they just sent me a bunch of stuff by mistake, and this was one of them, and they didn't want it back. So, Oh, don't worry. There's garbage I'm going to be throwing out. All right, we have discs, so I need a separate bin for discs. Here's garbage. Look, look. It's part of a bag. In the garbage it goes. All right, we um, need a box for discs. I have a lot of full boxes. Oh, you know what? That, that, um, here, let me get some tape and I'll fix up that box. If I survive. I went one way and I came back the other. How about that? This guy is a female disc. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always called them discs. Yes, yeah, homemade computer reset. I like the I like the time of that, the sound of that. Yeah, I, you you just gotta shame Grudy. You just gotta like. I I can't even. There's no. Sorry. All right, where'd that box go? I just had that box. So this is how I lose things. Here it is. All right, this will be fine for discs. I know we're only supposed to use them to mail things, but I mail enough things through the postal service, so. Yeah, you gotta message on Facebook like five times a day. It's only a disc man. Ah, uh, don't worry about the bottlenecking. No one, no one is re Sorry about the noise. I mean, theoretically, there's a bottleneck, but you know what? For, if it's gonna be a better card than the, the previous one, then I wouldn't worry about it. Good day, how are you, Michael? Mmm, delicious tape. All right, so we are taping this box shut. So you could fill it with discs, diskettes, whatever your your word is for floptical media. Delicious tape. Mm. It's a bit on the nutty side, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do. All right, so let's move this bin here. So hard drive. Uh, let me know if you're getting buffering. Hopefully you're not. Uh, no drop frames over here. I am on the Wi-Fi. I can plug into Wi-Fi and to uh, Ethernet if I have to. All right, no buffering. All right, cool. All right, so let's continue here. Yeah, I, I did a speed test on the Wi-Fi and I was getting at least 150 up and down. I'm using the five gigahertz, which nothing else on the house is touching. So I should be good. All right, so we got our little box here. Let's see where I could put this camera so you could see. Yeah, it's, it's gonna look like crap, Stephen, but that's why you're cleaning up. Hold on. 
Hi. Hi. No, that's not good. Ah. Oh. Dana's missing this. There we go. How about that? Awesome. Yeah, I have good internet, so it's fine. I'm not like Rudy over here with two Ethernet plugs plugged in from his modem to his PC because it's a failover. I'm sorry, Rudy, that's not how the internet works. Floppies. All right, so we got uh, Microsoft Office 4.1 <laughs> installation disk number 30. Number 30. Awesome, awesome, Dana caught it, sweet. So disk 30, I have no idea what the other ours are. Backup copy, final versions, tweeds. Oh, my mom used to work there. Well, gotta save that. Uh, access database, who cares? And a zip disk. My old job. Well, all disks will go in the same spot. How about that? Uh, <laughs> Netware DOS Requester. That sounds like a, a like a book. The DOS Requester. He came from the past to request the future. <laughs> As the disk box almost falls over. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, installation disk seven. We're on our way. Auto Land Streamer PCI Edition. Or do you get the auto land and you stream it? Uh, what is this? Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, totally legitimate disc. Kodak video cassette. I don't think this is my family's. They never had VHSC. Oh, this is eight millimeter. Nineteen eighty-eight. This must have been like I found this at a thrift store or something, which is kind of sad when you think about it. That someone's home movies are lost. I should put it on YouTube. Maybe somebody will find it. December 1988. Family at Locust Valley, New York. 20 minutes remain on tape. Well, that goes in the media bin. It is media. So. A PCI bracket. That'll be good. Clean your camera lens. What, you want me to lick it? I mean, looks pretty good to me. I don't see any smudges on it. Another DOS requester. Mac Attic, number 67. The lights are a bit streaky. Oh, the lights are always streaky. You can't you can't fix that with this camera, my friend. Trust me. I've tried. I've tried. Oh, see, I'm looking good. Alright, we're getting silly here. So apparently. Back whenever I tried to make a burned copy of an Xbox game. In the trash it goes, because it had big X's on it, which means it doesn't work. I need a bigger base. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Uh, this is a fourth generation iPod battery. I guess that'll go with the wires. A pair of headphones. Hey, look, I fixed it. No, see, it's fixed now. It's fixed. Wires. Software of the pros. Mac Attic number 48. <laughs> oh, woof. I was worried about them. Uh, some VHS covers. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast manual. Hello, Scarlet Swordfish. Department of Health Statistics. What the heck is this? What the heck is this doing in here? <laughs> it's it's a copy. It's like a it's like I'm I'm gonna hold it far away so you can't see the details. This is a copy of like my birth certificate, not the actual certificate, but this is like the birth certificate was requested on 1987. That's interesting. I'll have to put that there. I don't know how that ended up in the bin, but it was there. More floppies. It's a double sided. I have no idea what's on that. Uh, one, two, three for Windows. Disk three. Lotus. It's a big basement. This is only half. Well, not even half. There's a section in the middle, and then there's the bunny section where all the shelves are. So, after all this madness ends, Sean, you'll have to uh, come visit once it's all clean. You can pet the bunnies, pet the computers. Another land streamer disk. What the heck? Yeah, it is a receipt. I got a mouse pad. How about that? Oh my gosh. So my old employer 
2010 calendar mouse pad. And it's all destroyed. Well, it's not destroyed, but whatever. Oof. This has a little bit of damage to it. Just a wee bit. You can look through it. <laughs> I, I, um, <laughs> I wonder if that could be red. It's magnetic. Put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> this is why I have so much crap. Oh, please don't be cracked. Hey, it's not. It's scratched to hell, but uh, this is The Animals 2.0. Uh, this is on Macintosh Garden, but this is a fun CD. I used to play this when I was a kid. Cyber World 3D. It's a burned disc my dad made. It's his handwriting on it. Oh boy. So who remembers when I was talking about the hamster dance? <laughs> oh my god. That's wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a keeper. Uh, so Amazon receipts for something that was purchased in 2020. That's not too long ago. Hoda's Mac Edition. He has all the Macintosh 2s and he doesn't give it to anybody. Mac OS 8.5 Preview Pack. It's just the sleeve. I'm sure I have the disc somewhere. Hey, right, look at this. A USB card. USB 2.0, actually. Mmm, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think I actually had this in a Quicksilver at one point. It just happened to work. Maybe I'm confusing this. That'll go with the wires. Close enough. Universal Binary Basement Edition. No, no, no. We're a Rosetta house only. Sorry, buddy. No Intel apps here. Uh, USB extension cord. Good for USB 1 and 2. Not bad. Goes in the cords bin. Who is this? Got another USB extension cable. Now, these I remember getting from... Uh, a place that sold cheap stuff called Ollie's. Mike will know exactly what I'm talking about. This cable came from Ollie's. Uh, no, I don't have any leases. I wish I did. Um, <laughs> no worries, Charlie. See you later. Um, and so I do have a firewire cord somewhere. I probably don't need it. So if anybody actually needs a firewire cord, maybe uh, that could be uh, given to somebody. Yeah, this the, the metal here is just like very flimsy. Like there's just too much space. Oh yeah, Ollie's is excellent. I'm not, I'm not bad math and ollies. I'm just saying this particular cable from them was eh, quality, but I probably paid like what the $4 for it. So. All right. So that's a cable that goes in there. Box is almost empty. Oh, movie tickets. Ooh, what movie did I see? Ah, oh, it's all faded away. Wait, 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 wait. You can see the sales tax. Ah, oh, what movie was this? I saved it for some reason because I'm an idiot, but, uh, general admission. This is like, uh, what is that movie? Uh, National Treasure 3. I'm Nicolas Cage, and I'm looking into what movie ticket this was a movie to. In Hazlitt, New Jersey. All right. He went to see the movie, and afterwards, he bought a computer. Yeah, I have no idea what movie that's for. I, it doesn't, there's no date. It, it's... All faded away. Uh, what? Some music CD that's not mine. Ah! Ape Escape. Probably Coyote Ugly. I don't think I've actually ever seen that movie, thankfully. Uh, National Trekker. A treasure. Book of Floppies. Yeah, so I actually have a PlayStation Portable. I bought it ages after it was released. And here's a game for it, which I probably never played, but it was two dollars, so I picked it up. But uh, I like the one for the PlayStation. That was a fun one. Right, everything of uh, tape. I put that over there. Yes, that's back in the day when people actually used to go into the theater together before all this madness. What is this? Kodachrome Two Color Movie Film. All right, now I remember where this came from. Uh, I got this and that tape from a thrift store. This has a guy's name on it, Europe. This guy went to Europe, and he lived in Edison, New Jersey, which is not too far from my location in New Jersey. And the film is exposed. It actually says exposed. But I don't think the film was developed, maybe. 
it was probably not developed. So we have undeveloped, potentially, and I'm not an expert on this, undeveloped 8mm movie film. It'll probably cost an arm and a leg to get developed, and it's probably not worth it. But the curiosity of what's on there will drive you crazy. All right, we have a battery from a what I believe is a 12-inch iBook. So 10.8 volt, 2002. <laughs> a member of Europe. Yeah, I think Kodak is still developing some because of all the uh, the uh, popularity about around 8mm uh, film these days. But. No, count. no, nobody's paying me to sing. All right, so we have another USB cable. This is a USB A to Mini B cable. That's always good to have. And see, I'm not ashamed to show the basement now because we're cleaning it up box by box, I assure you. Box is empty. So that box is actually going to go next to the trash so it can be broken down later. Actually, I'm going to put it here just in case I have to... Use it. Hopefully not. No, not a mini DV. That's that you're thinking of a firework cable. That's not exactly what that is. Okay. Um. I guess we'll go through one of these bins. Easier said than done. It won't let me walk. It's stuck. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> Trust me, if there's anything I want to get rid of, you guys will be the first to know. Does this little look tangled to you? This is a little. This will be the thumbnail of the video if, if YouTube's algorithm goes correctly. Just a little bit tangled. Oh, there's some good wires in here, don't you worry. There's a power book in that bin too. But this power book was from an e-waste place and the screen's already screwed up. We're still gonna take care of it. We're gonna put that over here. And we're gonna hit the microphone while we're doing that so everyone's like, what's that noise? I have no idea what that power supply is for. And see, now I knocked over the bin of wires. Don't read the chat and walk. Okay. I'm going to have to take a break and get some water soon. But, uh, do away with some more. Alright, let's, um, go through some of these, this rat's nest here. Um, yeah, you can sort of see the rat's nest better. No, the Macintosh 2 is up high, so I can't trip over it. What's the stack on the Mac Pro for? Oh, that that's a bunch of Apple II floppy drives and some CD drives. I put that there because if I put it somewhere else, I would have tripped over it. So, all right, let's get to untangling because that's what we're here for. Like, that's what I'm here for. I don't, I don't know what you're here for. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> no, the EMAC is, is in a place where I could not trip over it yet until I move it. Then I'll be tripping over it, and then I'll be dead. Nah, this is this is a background. So you know how they do the Mandalorian where they have, you know, the, the screens of LEDs and it looks very lifelike? That's exactly what this all is. This is all an illusion. Alright. How do I even begin with this? How do we even begin with this? It's too many. Too many. Take the big ones out first, I guess. You can never have too many extension cables. Jay claims he doesn't watch Star Trek or Stargate or Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. He is the hugest nerd about all that stuff. He is just the biggest dork. 
you know, you just go over his house and there's like Star Wars collectible busts here and there, signed Lord of the Rings memorabilia. You know, he's got all the Star Trek ships. He knows all of them. He's a huge Doctor Who fan. He's in all of that. He's, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, fool you. He's, he's a real fan. And you can't see my face, so you're like, is Steve joking? Is he, is he, is he making a joke? Oh, look, the extension cord even says my name on it. All right, that goes in the in the bin. <laughs> he printed a six-foot TARDIS. More like it, yeah. Uh, system update, 7.5.5, disc two of five. <laughs> Sounds exactly like Jay. See, I'm not lying. What remained of a plastic cup in the trash? Okay, what else we got here? Another disc in the media bin. And this, a 3Com Ethernet card. Ooh. Ah. Yes, I am tying them up with my hands. I do have uh, a cable tie thing. I'm going to go grab that now because otherwise it will be a bit of a mess. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do hold please uh, what I'm going to do is set up because I'm using <laughs> oopsie I didn't turn studio mode on so I started clicking things on OBS and it messed things up hold please all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my be right back screen so I can actually uh, do things like go grab some water and stuff like that uh, so let me open up do, 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 do. Be right back. Here we go. It's a slightly different image than what you were accustomed to, but eh, it's fun. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Media source. And we'll do our music there. There we go. Power up by Jeremy Blake. Excellent music there. All right. So yeah, it is. There's a lot. Well, so it's honestly, it is generally not this bad. Right? I'm being completely honest here. What had happened is I had been using the bathroom for storage and the bathroom is about well, six by six. It's a pretty sizable room, but I've been stacking bins up to the ceiling. So when the basement on the, the basement flooded, I had to take everything out of the bathroom. So that's why everything's scattered wrong here. Blech. Blech. Cause I used to be able to walk back and forth to the shelf, grab something you've seen it in my videos and stuff, but <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So I will put this be right back transition on just for a few moments. Uh, what I'm going to do is get the twist ties and get myself some water because I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to be parched. So hold on for uh, two to three minutes. And we'll be right back.
returned. He's returned. Oh, I'm back. Okay. No recent Van Halls. No, I'd be divorced, I think. And bet and dead. Probably dead. Probably dead. If if I'm dead, then then there's more money involved. <laughs> Alright, so I got the twist ties here. Got my bottle of water. Uh, dinner is ready, but I'm gonna keep on going on for a little bit. Then I'll I'll take a break in a little bit. But we're gonna be going on for a while. So here's my trash bin, which is usually um, next to me when I'm streaming, filled with uh, lovely capacitors and crap. Finally gets emptied out. So that is what the trash looks like currently. We're gonna be certainly adding a lot more to that. I can assure you. Okay. All right, all right. What were we doing here? Bin. All right, that's right. I was gonna get another cable for the bin. For the another bin for the cables. But let's just continue here, and we'll we'll keep on going. All right. So what else we got? We got. Oh, this is a good one. I meant to put this away. This is an original Apple Firewire cable. And uh, so you got the Apple logo there. You got the little Firewire lo logo there. Uh, this was, I believe, for like the first iPods. So you got uh, the big thick cable or or just sold as a peripheral because uh, when I got my iPod, it actually had a thinner cable. It was a second generation. This might have been the first gen, not sure. But that goes in the cable bin. So got our cables in there. Oh, we got some local talk stuff here coming up. Uh, this is just a generic power cord. It's not really wrapped up so nice, so we're going to wrap it up. And it has one of these stupid plastic clip things. So we're going to cut all that off, throw that out. Untangle this wire here. Try not to whip myself in the face with that. Straighten that out. Now, big cables like this, I don't use twist ties on because because uh, I usually just do this. And then it has a bulky enough end there where I just wrap it around. And some people go, oh, it's not good for the cable. Don't do it, man. I've been doing this for over 25 years. I'm pretty sure it's fine. There we go. Look. Ooh. In the bin it goes. Who's texting me? Turn on Do Not Disturb because these Mac Yak guys are a bit silly. Doop -doop -doop So, uh, yeah, well, power cables and stuff, it's fine with. So that was Ken from the Computer Clan asking me some questions. I did mute. Hmm, see? You didn't see it there. That was uh, Ken from the Computer Clan asking me some questions. And uh, so I'm streaming right now, so feel free to stop by. So if he stops by, give him a big, sh big shout out. Be like, hey, it's Ken. My gosh. All right, so this is an ATI... Uh, breakout box. There's an ATI logo on there. Kind of, you kind of see it there. You got S video and composite audio and video. And this is for your AV capture, so AV input. So uh, I don't know if this is the exact one that would have came with the Macintosh. Um, I do have one for. Uh, I do a few ATI cards for PCs. I think this came with a PC card, but usually the pinout is very similar. It's actually a mini DIN 8 connector, very similar to an Apple serial. Um, but very useful if you're using those all in wonder cards or those rage cards that have the uh, video capture built in So we are going to nicely wrap this up and use a twist tie And I'm just using these garden twist ties. They're green. They're meant for gardening and stuff like that They work fine for cables. I've always used them for cables Let's see look how neat that is Could have maybe did the dongle a little bit better, but you know what? Alright, what else we got? We got a bunch of stuff here. What is this tiny little USB thing? What is this like little skinny little cable? 
have the weirdest cables, man. Look, let's look at the bin together. Look at the bin. Because looking at my face is not as exciting. What the heck is this? This is... Has a little charger and a USB plug with a logo. Is that a Pelican logo? Like the video game accessory maker? Because it almost looks like a Game Boy uh, Pocket or Game Boy Color charger or Neo Geo Color type thing. No idea what the heck this is for. But can I even put a twist tie around this? This is so tiny. It's a cable made for ants. Uh, no, I don't think that's Nokia. My Nokia charger is a bit... I mean, they made so many phones, who knows? But my Nokia charger is a bit uh, different than that. My watch isn't going to remind me to stand anymore today, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm standing now. <laughs> I think the twist tie is bigger than the cable, and it's coming loose. Whatever. In the bin you go. All right, what else we got? All right, so th oh, this is a, uh, a local talk connector here. So here's an Apple breakout box. This is the official Apple one, not a, a phone net or anything like that. Got the little Apple logo on there for local talk. There we go. And so we're gonna wrap that up. I have a bunch of these. <laughs> they broke. They done broke. <laughs> This one, so what happens, Dana, is the capacitors go in those. Um, I actually sold one to a guy. He just wanted to stand for it. And I said, look, I don't care what you do with it. Um, that one still works. It's a little scratched up. It's for my old job. Uh, that one still works. Uh, I think it just has a VGA input. But when I used to do streams and stuff for my desk, that was fine. So I just left it like that. Yeah, so the local talk wires look like this. They actually have little spring-loaded connectors, so they actually snap in. Well, they would if I put them in the right way. They snap in like that. And there you go. You can't, you can't yank them out. Yep, that's exactly what mine did, Dana. Capacitor issues. So, that's my local talk cables. I like your new local talk cables. This is going to be a silly stream. If anybody has not figured that out yet, my apologies. This is gonna be a silly stream. We're just being silly and cleaning. But I'm not gonna be, I'm not, I'm too lazy to clean otherwise, but if I make a, a, a game out of it, if I trick myself, then we'll get the basement clean together. <laughs> a plus bin stream. Put things in the bin. Aw. Thank you, Sean. Your check is in the mail. All right, so. You can't see my face, but I know, you probably want to see the bin more than my face at this point. And it's not that wide angle of a thing. All right, cool. OptiQuest. OptiQuest. <laughs> Got some Radio Shack branded AV cables here. Oh, good old Radio Shack. Let's stream together. Organize the cables, stream together, nobody's paying me to sing. All right, so this is a uh, headphone jack to uh, audio out RCA connector type thing. You can always tell it's a Radio Shack cable when there is so much darn plastic about the freaking thing. Look at this. Look how, like, look, look how bulky that is. I mean, don't tell me that's for, like, interference things or anything like that. This is just, like, th that's just... Th th there's a plastic. So, um, yeah, that's gonna get wrapped up. Quality with a K. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Dana. Eep. We'll uh, we'll make a song out of something. <laughs> oh God, that is scary. That is scary. Hey, the more the more you people pay me, the more bins and stuff I'll buy. So how about that? Uh, Ani goes to the radio shack. Yeah, that's. I can't do that voice poorly as I do it anyway for more than like two seconds. So. All right, what do we got here? Um, it's a car charger. So 
plugs into your car, and it's a USB-B. So, for like a GPS or something. I hate about these coily things. They're like impossible to wrap up. This has no branding on it. This is a generic one. I'm sure this was for when my mom had an old phone that plugged into this. Uh, my GPS has a similar one, but you could wear it around like a nice necklace or something, you know. Welcome to Mac 84 fashion. Now you're gonna bother wrapping that up. Look, probably came off a cable. Hello, NK Morpheus. Very cool beadwork on your Instagram, sir. Very nice. <laughs> That's, well, crazy tech reviews. Why are you telling me that? That's somebody might have told me that in my household already. Oh, Madeline, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Eep. That's very very kind. Thank you very much for the super chat. Um, I'll have to think of some songs to sing. It's gonna get weird. All right, so we got uh, another aux cable. This is another 2.5 to left and right. That's already wrapped up, so we don't have to do that. All right, what is this? Well, I actually labeled this. Look at that. Windows XP tablet from work. So this was a very interesting tablet my old boss gave me. He was a bit of a weirdo. Uh, my old boss gave me this tablet. He's not around anymore, so. Uh, my boss gave me this tablet thing, and he worked at some company. I don't know what they were doing, but it's this Windows XP no-name touchscreen tablet. Very industrial case, obviously like a early prototype type thing. This is the plug on the other end. Yeah, that tells you how early days this was. They just, you know, this is the adapter for that. And at the end, yes, he did. At the end is this teeny little, little cable. So you go, <laughs> you go from this to this. It's just, yeah. So, yeah, that is a, that is a big honking cable. So I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna wrap the big part up. But uh, chunky plug. I didn't do nothing. Nothing has been proven in court. It's a thick plug. Yeah, so I, uh, I'll i show you, compare, let's see. Yeah, here's here's like the normal. <laughs> There's a bit of a size difference there. This is more like an industrial one, I guess, but the thick boy. You know, I'll use uh, this thing. Chunky plug. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, everyone changes their names once in a while, so I did not recognize you, but... Uh, Mackenzie, much easier to pronounce than your AWOL-esque screen name there. <laughs> Don't worry, we've all had those screen names when we were kids. Yes, I, I realize there's a reason for that type of plug. I just think it's funny that it's so large. All right, what else we got here? This is like for an old uh, boombox. You know, they had those weird uh, thingies. <laughs> uh... I cannot say no to free crap. And that's why my basement is full of crap. That almost sounded like a song coming up. I try. I just had to hold back. We'll be here for days. Buy my new album. Steam Cleans His Basement, Volume 4. Here's another boombox style plug, but it will also fit in like a Dreamcast or a Sega Saturn. Stuff like that. Very handy to have. Sing, monkey, sing! <laughs> Oh boy. I have such nice friends. Now that's what I call Basement Hits Volume 4. Order today on three compact discs or 18 cassettes or two laser discs. Mac 84 Beats. Yeah, that's my side channel. <laughs> ah. Come on. See, my problem is I squeeze the cable too hard and I don't put enough of the zip tie on it, a uh, twist tie on it rather, and then they just come undone in the basket. <laughs> I hope it's soothing to you. Uh, yeah, well, every time I move the camera, there's more crap to see. So uh, that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> you have been duly funded, sir. Continue with the jokes. Chop, chop. Continue singing. Really? Really? It's a serial port type dealy with the pins. PC stuff. PC stuff. You're trying to practice the piano, but you're distracted. I'll give you a, a hint. How about you, uh, or some a tip rather? Maybe you could orchestrate some music, and I'll telepathically pick it up, and I'll try and sing along to it. Now, when your piano breaks, it's not my fault. It's, it's not my fault. <laughs> some sea shanties. Yar. 
take the cable down and pass it around. All right, TP-Link power over Ethernet injector. Hey, that looks like something I grabbed from a work trash bin. I have no idea. <laughs> power 48 volts. What? That's a lot of power to shove down your Ethernet line, my friend. Jeez. Ahoy, Macintoshes. That goes in the bin. Computer. How generic can you get? Computer. SA-16. Computer edition. Yeah, this is definitely a serial port. It has one, two, three, four, five, six little pins there. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that, but the day I throw it out is the day I'm going to need the darn thing. Ah. Firewire hub. And there's the hub. What the hell is this? It's not... There. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Firewire hub and the hub. So this I got with a Quicksilver. The guy had a Firewire 400 hub that was Velcroed to the machine. Or was a mirror drive drawer? One of those silver towers. Um, no, that's not RJ45. It's some phone line stuff. Not even Ethernet. Uh, so yeah, this is a Firewire hub. And I, I just noticed I do not have the uh, the YouTube thing. 55 people watched. My goodness. I better watch my singing unless that's what attracting you all. If that's what attract is attracting you all, I am I'm grossly concerned with the direction my channel is going. <laughs> Here I am spending three years on the history of Macintosh clones. And you just guys, you know, you guys just show up for the sea shanties. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they did make firewire hubs. Um, you could just, you know, plug in whatever cable. There's no upstream cable or whatever. It doesn't matter which one. Um, I only have like one or two firewire hubs. Uh, I have one that's by Mac Alley. It's only like a two port. Fifty-six viewers. Oh my goodness. My goodness. And songs to three-hour clone video. She showed up for the sea sand. That's a tongue twister. She showed up for the she shanties. She showed up for the sea shanties. See. Yeah, that, that Mac had like an extra firewire cord, a firewire hub, all this stuff. A bunch of stuff in it. thought USB was 128. The firewire might be the same. Ah. All right. I think this goes for a GPS. It's like the car plug here. And there's a barrel connector there. The only reason I'm holding on to this is I could probably snip off that battle, bar, battle, the battled connector. It's going into battle. Um, I could probably snip off the barrel connector and use that for, uh, for some project or something like that. <laughs> it, it could be for, yeah, it could be for a Tom Tom or whatever. Uh, nice little USB A to B cable all bundled up and ready to go in the bin. This is for, oh, I know. I recognize this right away. Any, any good dork would recognize this. This is the cradle and power supply for a PDA of some sort, either a handspring or a palm. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Oh, who has a bunch of Mac classics and likes to sing Mac 84? Who had a basement in flooding, does he? <laughs> If crappy live streams is something you wish, Mac 84, then click on the live stream and give me a fish. I don't know. I ran out of rhyming there. See, right. my wife is probably listening upstairs going, what the hell is he doing? And I don't have an answer for him. It would be much weirder if I was in the basement just uh, making these noises by myself and nobody was watching me. I, would, I think that would be a little scarier. More scary. I'm just realizing I have to go to work tomorrow, so it's just the insanity is building up inside me. All right.
right, yeah, so this is a handspring, a handspring dock for a Palm Pilot. <laughs> she has her headphones on right now. She's just raising the volume. She's like, it's not this again. Again, again with the sea shanties. You were already rejected from Time Life for the sea shanty collection. This is a bunch of Steve Mac pants. Having Max as your pants would be very uncomfortable. Hey, Mike. <laughs> you missed all the she sea sh See, I can't even say it now, right now. You missed all the sea shanties. So we have a uh, handspring visor cradle. And we have the matching power adapter. Which, of course, says nothing about handspring on it. So I'm going to clip that in there. And then I'm going to tie these two cables together so I don't lose them. I have not been to Computer Reset. That's about, oh, 1,500 miles away. So it would be cool to go. I have a little bit of a space problem right now, so probably not in my best interest. Huh. Caution. High voltage. Yeah, by the end of that road trip, Dana, I'm pretty sure half of us are gonna, gonna, gonna wanna kill the other half of us. <laughs> Sean, me, you, and Mike in the same van, or school bus rather, you know, driving down. <laughs> oh, that actually sounds kind of fun. Damn it. Yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, it's an inverter. I think this came off of an old television. Uh, I kept it just to practice my desoldering skills because look at all the little tiny pieces. See? Look at all the tiny pieces. So, that gets saved, maybe. Uh, I bet to get a school bus might be cheaper. Throw it out. <laughs> Whose side do you want, Trina? Whose side do you want? <laughs> this is why the basement is messy. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, HP power supply for an HP laptop. Yeah, their videos were awesome. See, I... <laughs> Call the new bus. Oh, Dana. Kudos to you, my friend. Kudos to you. You're going to just spray paint new bus on the side of the bus and then bring it back to the rental price. Was, uh, I like that when we got it. Uh, there was this gang of people. I just spray painted it on there. <laughs> uh, oh, Sean. Well, either both Sean and Dana. I'm sure you're both thinking the same thing, but kudos to you, Sean. Oh, boy. All aboard the new bus. Yeah, see, the thing about going to Computer Reset or any place like that, like any e waste place. I'm always like, I'm always so like, oh, I gotta, gotta take pictures, I gotta document this, and there would be no time for that. <laughs> the scuzzy bust. <laughs> Children, you all have your scuzzy IDs? All right, buckle up. We're going for a ride. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put stuff in bins first. I think, I really think I have the laptop uh, for that charger, so I'm gonna hang on to that. I don't think I have any HP stuff. This is a, excuse me. This is a HDMI to mini HDMI. My old camera used this. So there you go. If we took the serial bus, we would be, be there forever. We need an ultra-wide SCSI bus. My ID is zero. I board first. <laughs> it's going to be for a bumpy ride, kiddies. The local talk bus. That'll, that'll get you there eventually. But you're not going to want to talk to anybody after that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, sharing a hotel room with a bunch of these guys, yeah, that won't be that fun, I don't think. Steve, stop snoring and talking about Max in your sleep. Actually, this HDMI cable probably put with my camera stuff. Ultra wide, fast, IDs. Alright, so we got more power cables here. Actually, I can just bundle this one up. The engine is only 16-bit. 
We put 16 bits of gas in that. I just don't understand how we ran out of fuel. And then it turns into a Three Stooges bit where Dana, Sean, and I are just smacking each other around. All right. It's an oddly wrapped cable, but it's wrapped. The cassette. How about that? Don't know what that's going to be. Oh, here's I, I had the VCR for this. Where is it? I told you I had the VCR for this. <laughs> this is this this actually this remote actually goes to a, a DVD combo box, but it will work in this VCR. It's a Sony. All the signals are the same. As the VCR falls off and crushes something, always good to find to say, "Hey, lottery tickets!" November two thousand thirteen. I'm pretty sure these have expired. <laughs> My Mega Millions tickets for November 15th, 2013. But what if they're winners, Trina? What if they're winners? Then, then I would have regretted not finding these three years ago. Let's see. My numbers, well, I got one number of each. That doesn't give you anything. No, that goes in the trash. <laughs> now see that CRT that's broken that'll buff right out I'll take five of those so here's another RCA cable still 55 people well happy Sunday morning evening afternoon but I don't I don't really play it either it was probably some absurd amount like 1.8 billion dollars and I'm like well I have ten dollars to pee away I uh let me do that. There we go. Some cables will wrap up nice. Others don't. Ethernet plug. Still in the plastic. Goes over there. Windows 2000 setup. Disk number three. That's the best one out of the bunch. Everything is rigged. We got a plug. Another one of those... Uh, figure eight power plugs <laughs> no Dana they'll only take 79% of it <gasps> a marble <laughs> I wanted the trash I actually wanted that come here marble No, I'm not digging in the trash. I am l l looking for something. Maybe. That's my lucky marble. His name is Phelan. We're almost done with the bin, though. See? It's emptying. I like can you feel it? <laughs> Alright, this is oh this is actually a good one. This is this is a very long serial cable. This is a very long Apple serial cable. Perfect for what does it say there? Image Rider 2. Oh come on, focus your there we go. Oh, you saw it for a second there. Well anyway. Label says image rider 2. Perfect Apple serial cable for my serial printing needs, which of course I have the need to print out on dot matrix. That was gonna go into a Christopher Walken impression, but I can't do that. So I just quit while I was ahead. This is when I check to make sure my fly is not open. It is not. We keep it classy here at Mac 84. Except when we accidentally moon people during the live chat and then we edit out the YouTube video so people get confused why the chats are still there but the video clip isn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy, we keep it classy here. All right, here is a switching adapter, 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 adapter. Uh, we got uh, doof. Model PA215. I bet this is for a jazz drive or for uh, one of those external CD burners I have. So I have the need. The need detractor feed. I have to remind Mike. Mike found a good... Mike is probably watching and now his ears are burning. Mike found a good deal on some continuous feed tractor feed printer paper. A very good deal. And, uh, yeah, go to McIntyre's Garden for Mac OS 9. Um, and, uh, I wonder if, uh, we got a response from them. It's a bit out of the way. I would gladly pay the price for, I'd have printer, printer paper for days. Oh, it was like 20 bucks, but you got like four boxes full. It's probably like 4,000 sheets of paper. You can think of how many banners I could print? How many banners? I'd run out of, out of ink. Ribbon. Ink ribbon. Ribbon ink. That's always a good cable to have. It's an Apple USB extension cable. I hate that they put that stupid little plastic notch there. Because, you know, you could circumvent that by just bending the cord and shoving it in there. But it's annoying to do. And I've actually got a cable stuck in there. So I don't really recommend that you do that unless you're prepared to get a cable stuck in there. The yeah, Mac 84 guy told me to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the we're Apple, we're proprietary, suck it notch. Uh, the drawing for the uh, the Alpha Smart machine will be done on January 31st. January 30th is the last day to enter. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go to my channel, search for um, a giveaway or Alpha Smart giveaway, um, and you will see that I'm doing a giveaway. And you have to enter on my website, watch the video, read the rules, etc., etc. Last day to enter is the 30th, and the drawing is on the 31st. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is a serial extension cable slash ginger changer type dealy. So if I take a serial port and I need to connect it to a Apple II or whatever, I have the ability to do that. I guess you could shave uh, a bit of the plastic off well see that's the thing i i did the i started the uh let's let's look at my face for this i started that giveaway when i was at uh five uh four almost four thousand subscribers and i'm almost at five thousand and a lot of that is a thank from uh is a thanks to uh neil from rmc the cave since i collaborated with him on my video before the clone video went up and i know the clone video was good too but i got like 500 or 600 subscribers so I'm hoping, and here's where you guys could help, I'm hoping that by the end of the month I will have reached 5,000 so I could print out a 5,000 banner instead of a 4,000 banner. Because why waste, why waste paper? Um, so where you guys could help is you could help spread the word, share it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just share the giveaway video or just my channel, whatever you want to do. Because the more subscribers, the more impressions and all that good stuff and... YouTube does its little hamster wheel lag over them daily, and it's good. So, yeah. Oh, Magic Jack. Oh, yeah. Kaboom. All right, why did I, I wrap that up way too tiny there? That's not helpful. I bought a thousand sheets of tractor feed paper, Crazy Tech Reviews. A thousand sheets. Um, I still have a lot of it left, but thinking for the future here, when I'm 80 years old in, in my rocking chair, grandkids on my lap, and I want to print out some banners, I'm going to print out some banners. And I'm not going to pay a lot of money for the paper either. <laughs> Grandpa's cheap. You bet your butt I am. All right, so here's a composite video cable, which is cut off because this is part of a project. Um... No, that's not correct, Rita. That was a joke about me being ancient. Um, when I'm 80 years old. Uh, so this is um, a composite video cable, and I clipped off the other end and actually twisted the cable because I was going to catch it to something. But uh, greetings from the Netherlands. Well, greetings from New Jersey. Thank you for stopping by. 
<laughs> if I had the image writer on my lap when I was 80 years old, I'd probably break my hip. No, no, no. This is a project cable. I know it looks like hoarding. It is. But this is a project cable. <laughs> Let's swing the uh, this topic of discussion into a different area, shall we? Uh, no, I only have the one Magic Jack, Joshua. I have not come into possession of another. And since I've had bad luck with the other, I figured I'm not really going to mess with that. So unless someone sends me one and says, hey, use this, I don't really have any incentive to really try. Uh, yeah, I wanted, I wanted the Ethernet module ever since the Dreamcast came out. Back in 1999, I was aware of it. They were on back order at EB Games. I don't think anyone in the United States ever got one through like a store like that, unless you were stupid lucky. Um, yeah, so here's a RCA splitter type dealie. So it's a mono to one or whatever you want to do. That doesn't need to be wrapped up. That can just go there. And here is just your standard headphone aux, whatever you want to call it, cable. Did a video using a Cisco ATA to fake the phone network between two modes. Oh, that's really cool. Yes, I saw, I saw, I, I am subscribed to Cathedode uh, Ray Dude. I uh, don't get a chance to watch all his videos, but he has some very cool stuff. There we go. All bundled up. Now these cables, I probably have more of these cables in this house than anything else, because what would happen at my old job they would install a monitor, and all the cables, they would just throw out in the trash. I'm serious. DVI cables, VGA cables, audio cables, USB cables, throw them all out. Because you already had a monitor at the desk, and they would just leave the box in the hallway. So what I would do, I would either fish them out of my trash bin, and this is a trash bin where you would put paper or whatever, nothing bad. But um, yeah, it is my fault. Sure, blame it on me. Come over here, you'll pick out another one. I guarantee it'll work. Asterix may not work. Um, but yeah, so they would throw these out. So I have a bunch of these audio cables. Whenever I need one, I cannot seem to find them, yet I have a billion of them. So how about that? Yes, Trina, I admit it. I'm sorry. Ah, kids aren't that bad. All right, so what? Oh, this was, this was used. I was using this last time I played around with my Commodore, I believe. <laughs> kind of maybe doubtful bring your own processor uh, so this is a, another Radio Shack cable with another stupid big bezel like that I mean come on um, yeah and then we have an what is this an F adapter uh, what do they call it um, Michael no it's the uh, RCA to RF adapter I think it's like an F angle adapter whatever it is basically it just converts it so you could use this like on a Commodore 64 or, or whatever it is. Um, even an Atari will work with that. Uh, instead of like the RF modulator, I think... Type F. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Um, I think it'll just plug around. Don't quote me on that. It's, last time I used it, it did what I needed it to do. Uh, Mike, I do have RAM, RAM riser cards too. So if like you need anything... I mean, we were talking about maybe hanging out soon, so if you want to bring anything over, depending on depending on what you want to make a headache out of, <laughs> we'll have... Uh, okay, you have risers too. We'll, uh, we'll do another weird live stream here. And either we'll bore everyone to tears, or we'll make everybody laugh because they're, they're having so much fun. Either way, tears will be involved. Is it possible to use the DreamPie for old phones? I have no idea. Um, I used a DreamPie strictly. So what the DreamPie does is it it fakes a modem dial tone and signal and everything to allow a modem to connect to the internet. Now, I'm sure someone much smarter than I am will know if there's a way to plug a telephone into there. If you plug a phone into there, you get a dial tone because the, the voltage inducer that you install as part of the DreamPie setup will send voltage um, to the phone, and the phone will give you a dial tone. However, I, I don't know what you plan to do on that. If you plug a phone somewhere else and you still have the voltage there, you might get a signal. But All right, what the heck is this? It's a receipt. Thank you. 
from a restaurant. All right. The dream pie is fun. I did a video about it. Oh, I'm glad I just didn't dump this bin because in the bottom of this bin, I had some keycaps for an iBook. So we have an F10 key and we have a, uh, a tilde key. So these are little bits for an iBook. I'm gonna go put these over here so I don't lose them. Uh, someone did make an ethernet adapter. Uh, it's a little expensive. Basically you take a, um, what is it, Sammy? Yeah, Sa Sammy is the arm of Sega or vice versa that does the arcades. They have a um, an ethernet board for some of their arcades and with minor modifications that'll work on a Dreamcast. I actually ordered one but I have not done the uh, the fancy bits to make that work. Another keycap. This is a, a bracket. All right, any other goodies in here? There's a dead bug. Anybody want a dead bug? Bidding starts at five cents. Five cents. Going once. Going twice. In the trash it goes. Now we have an empty bin we could fill with other crap. Oh, I'm sorry. Bidding has expired. The dead bug is thrown out. Don't worry. Okay, so... Now our container is filled with nice, neat cables rather than overflowing cables. And one fell off. Ah. The bug is retro. Bug report! <laughs> Don't make me fish out of the trash. I will get that super chip. Yeah, we're going to be chatting for a while here. So get cozy. Cataloging? What? Are, what? What? Yeah, no, we'll get to that eventually. First, first is getting the crap out of 60 people watching. Hello, everybody. Uh, first is getting all the stuff, um, well, off the floor. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I uh, have started a FileMaker Pro database. I have no idea what I'm doing in the application, but I have started. So, uh, first let me just say hello to everybody who's joining because it seems like more people are joining. I'm Steve from Mac84. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so because when I do a live stream or a video and stuff like that, you will get notified. YouTube's notifications actually want to work. Edwin, thank you very much for the super chat. Super bug report. Eep. So when everybody, uh, whenever somebody gives a super chat, I give an eep. And that wasn't a very good eep. Try and get a, a better wild eep here. Eep. There we go. That's I think that's a better eep there. But smash that like button, as Bruce from Breakers Creations would say. I don't have all my ads set up on this uh, on this uh, streaming setup here. Go to Brankus Creations YouTube channel. Subscribe to him as well. Excellent, excellent content. Oh boy. But thank you very much for that super chat. That's very much appreciated. So, uh, we're going to continue cleaning up here because if not, if not, I will be fired from a rocket into the sun. So, we have another bin here. This is a processor card either for a G3 iMac or for a PowerBook. Now, yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to, 1998. Yeah, this could be either. I'm not sure. Um, let's see what the processor speed on this is. Uh, can't tell, actually. 233 megahertz. Alright, so this, this might be a, uh, a Wall Street or an iMac. Not really sure. Um, I did have a friend that used to work at a place repairing power books, and he sent me like one or two of this, these that he claimed were dead. And I believe it, they're probably dead. I don't know which one this is. I think it's for the power book because of the way that heat sink is there. Just not entirely sure. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, here is an Apple Ethernet cord from 1991. Any caps on there that need replacing? No. It looks good, actually. That's a Nubus Apple Ethernet card. How many Macs do I have? Too many, Joshua. Probably about 200 or so. Too many. So there we go. That's that lovely card. I do have anti-static bags, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now. We're just trying to organize things. <laughs> Mac OS Copeland. Who wants to install Mac OS Copeland? My goodness. Oh, boy. 
pick up a cheap Mac Pro with a faulty PSU. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. Hopefully, it's not that faulty. Nubus Ethernet. If you want Ethernet and you have a Nubus card, just plug it in. See, now I only have 60 viewers because I started singing again. <laughs> yeah, will Copland install? Probably not. Probably not. Copeland, Copeland, whatever. Uh, all right, so you have another composite video cable. Uh, I'm starting to get a little hungry, so I'm going to take a little break for food soon. Not right now. Not not just yet, but in a little bit. And you can either decide if you want to groove to the Be Right Back music, or if you want me to just point this at the wall and you play uh, Where's Waldo. <laughs> you find whatever goodies are hiding. Copeland, Copeland, whatever it is. I, I, it's, it's something. I'm glad I didn't do a video about it yet because people will be like, you're saying it wrong. Well, I'm just doing what's in the bin. I don't. I, I put a bunch of stuff in these bins ages ago. This is one of the last cables in the bin. This is a joystick. This is a uh, Kraft K3, KC3. Pew, 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 pew. No worries, Edwin. Thank you very much for the super chat, and uh, have a good morning. Take care. Oh, good night, rather. Sorry. <laughs> and this is all tangled. It was the graphics card. Ah, that ch crummy graphics card. Yeah, so this is a joystick that could be compatible with your, what does it say? Apple II or IBM. There you go. So there's a little switch on a joystick. A lot of these joysticks had switches on them. And this has a Y cable. So you have one for an IBM. That's this one here. And then you had one for an Apple II. That one there. I don't know. And we've been, we've been going through a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're organizing and cleaning. You can see we got through a bunch already. So, yeah, this is a uh, little switch for this joystick. So many cables. So we're going to wrap this up here. This, the trash bin has some stuff in it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. Please. So this will go with the cables, even though it's more of an accessory. All right. Hard drive mech demo. That's exciting. Very exciting. Next to a hard drive. A fush, a fush, a fushin? <laughs> F U A S H. What is this? F. Oh, it's either Foshin or fo whatever it is. It's an Apple Drive, 20 gigs, IDE, probably does not work, not sure. But put that in the media bin, hard drive mech, floppy, blue floppy, not in there. Fushima, there we go, thank you. I have something in my throat, Fushima. Do you have Dana's old laptop in there? <laughs> Nicholas, that's hot. Dana's old laptop is, no, I don't think I have that. Well, if I do, and hello, Nicholas, if I do, it would be with the land of abandoned laptops over here. This is this is happy land here. You got some black MacBooks, some white MacBooks, some parts MacBooks. MacBook with a sticker on it. There's a bunch of bunch of parts there. There's an iBook on the bottom looking sad. But that's because it's an iBook. So. But hello Nicholas, hello Shay, and hello Stella. Sounds it's it's very magical. It's so magical. It doesn't say Toshiba, Mike. It doesn't. There's clearly an F. It's not a T. Or maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I have to go through those laptops. Some of them have good parts in them. A Windows 2000 boot disk. Oh, this takes me back. SideQuest Utilities. And Andrew will remember some of the names that are on this disk there. Cyquist Utilities. My goodness. My goodness. And yeah, we have a Star Wars floppy with a Sonic Adventure tag shoved in there. What the heck? It's uh, Star Wars Screen Entertainment Disc 2. On the Atari VCS. Um, I mean, 
there's so many reviews for the Atari VCS. I don't I don't know if honestly adding mine to the hat would help. Um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I love the Atari 2600, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I have anything other to say that, yeah, it plays games, it's cool. Uh, the new one, I don't have crazy money to spend on that, so unless someone's giving that to me, no thank you. But uh, there's been plenty of reviews on that already. All right, we got some memory here. We have some DDR256 megabytes. That's the original DDR desktop, 333 megahertz. Woo! Oh, we have a Sonic Blast for the Game Gear. Which I paid seven dollars for. There we go. Yeah, I mean that Atari thing, it's neat and all, but it's just a modern PC. That's all it is. That's mine. No, this is mine. This is mine. I bought Sonic Blast for the Game Gear. I overpaid the seven dollars for it. <laughs> you can have this if you want, Andrew. This was my old uh, knockoff Bandai uh, Virtual Pet. And the gimmick with this is it has two contacts here. And you were able to connect this virtual pet to another virtual pet. I think this was like a King Kong or a Godzilla type thing. And you'd, you'd plug it in and you'd be able to, to play. So. Yeah. Fun. fun. I, what battery does this take? Do I have a screwdriver here? <laughs> There's a screwdriver here. But it's not the right thing. I bet the battery is all, uh, all screwy in there. Actually, it probably isn't. It's probably a coin cell. Now this might be yours, Andrew. Actually, no. Your version of Sonic 2 for the Game Gear has the Game Genie sticker on the back. So, yeah. what PCs do you have, Joe? Oh, that's not me. You're talking to somebody else. <laughs> uh, Seven dollars for Sonic Blast. That was probably at least 10, 15 years ago. I don't know if that game went up or down in value, but uh, yeah. All right, so another game we have a Patrick Starfish keychain, for some reason. Okay. Now I am going to take you all into the third dimension. This is my new look. I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to be wearing these for the foreseeable future. I am now blind because everything is... Uh, <laughs> I'm like that guy in Back to the Future. How did he change his darn clothes so fast? Hey, I know where this goes. This goes for that MacBook Pro I was fixing up, and then I lost this piece. Now I have it. That goes over there. <laughs> That's for the rest of the stream. I couldn't see straight putting them on for like five seconds. Do you have a set goal of how much you have to purge or just organizing? Yes. The answer is yes. I don't know. I'm just tidying up here the best I can. Well, Nicholas could have the Patrick keychain. It is on the side. I'm putting it over here for him. Hey, Nicholas. I'm Patrick. I don't know how his voice goes. Well, I do, but I can't do it. All right, we have Clarus Works 4, disc 6. Always handy. And... Somebody wrote SASS on this, but I'm pretty sure... I have no idea what that's on there. Oh! <laughs> oh, I have to find out what's on this disc. This says, Steven's art. Only Steven's things. Keep out. You hear that, Andrew? This is only my floppy disk. These are only mine. You can't. You can't. This is secret. You can't look in here. This is my secret art. There's probably very poorly drawn Sonic the Hedgehogs and Prince of Persia's on here. Very, very poorly drawn. And I am very eager to see what's on here. I am putting this in my pocket right now so I do not lose that disc. Uh, I'm not a fanboy of either. I, I am critical of both of them. I have more nostalgia for Apple stuff, but I'm not a fanboy. Hypercard. Pretty neat. Disc Tools. He came from the East to fight the Amazing Rondo. Alright, we have uh, memory here. DDR266, another 256 megabyte module. How about that? I'm not gonna sit down, don't worry. It's not it's not by my butt, it's by my pocket where my phone is. So Alright, so that's more memory. We have a uh, Game Boy case, which a Game Boy game would go into. And what is this? You have some uh, 72 pin memory. I have no idea how large this module is. No idea. 
We have another cable. So this is a, uh, I believe this is from Mono Price. It's a uh, 2.5, uh, I'm sorry, um, headphone jack to, uh, to RCA. Um, no, I need my own memory. Adrian's Digital Basement has enough followers and money, I'm sure, to buy his own memory. <laughs> he didn't respond to my tweet when I corrected the problem for him, so I don't know if he liked me or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely keeping that memory. And, uh, yeah, Adrian's problem was he took out the processor uh, from an LC or a Performa or whatever, and he put it in the Quadra. And then he was like, oh, the Quadra's giving me errors when I try and run a program that requires a floating point unit. Yeah, the problem is you swapped out the processor that doesn't have a floating point, you, that, that did have one, with one that didn't. So the Quadra doesn't know how to react. So I tweeted that to him. I'm sure he'll read it eventually. But uh, yeah, here's a bunch of batteries that are corroded. In the trash they go. And here is a ribbon cable. I believe this is for an iBook white or snow uh, CD-ROM optical drive. So... Yeah. <laughs> See you soon, Trina. Oh, boy. All right, what else we got? Piece of plastic, trash. Uh, trash, trash. This is a uh, rubber band designed for an 8 millimeter film roll. So I'll put that away. Yeah, I, I used to have film in this bucket, I think. So I have some screwdriver bits and screws and yeah, tools were in here. Andrew, did you ever get me the toolbox you promised? Because if not, I may have to take you up on that. I need a toolbox. Containers don't work as good, especially when they have cracks in them. Then they go in the trash like that. Ah. <sighs> So you could see all the stuff. If I angled the camera down, you're not seeing all the stuff. Trust me. There's, there's too much crap here. You could see more floor, but there's not. See, there's no floor. <laughs> he, left, he left the chat. He no, Andrew no longer here. Uh, how big is your basement? Too big. Too big. All right, let's get another bin. I'll fill it up with some stuff here. Let's put... Uh, let's see, move these over here. Um, here's a box of crap we have to go through. I wouldn't, I don't think it's that much, Mike. Well, I don't know. Maybe you came around with the measuring table. I wasn't looking. The bunnies own half of the basement. They're the tenants for that half. All right. So I have some videotapes and stuff. I'm actually going to just put them all in here better organize this box and put the tapes back in here. Uh, that's actually a jazz drive without the front. Uh, who wants a beta cassette of Missiles of October? PD Magnetics. Killers from space. Hey Mike, do you still need a Windows 95 upgrade? Don't tell anybody, here's the CD key. Shh. No, no. And there's the actual disc. Ooh, Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Academy. That's a fun game. Ooh, Yoda stories. <laughs> it's, I think this is like, yeah, it's like a little desktop guy. It's just, yeah. Uh, these discs go with media stuff. There's an 8mm film of Snow White. Let's play it and get a copyright strike. This has sound. Even though it's faded to red, I'd probably still get a copyright strike. 
They went into the media bin, don't worry. Now we have some zip drives, zip disks. Gunsmoke Ranch. Another beta tape. Yeah, I got a beta, a beta player, and the only uh, problem was they forced me to take the tapes along with the player. So now I have a bunch of beta tapes I don't really care about. Stalking Moon. Um, and it's not even like good stuff recorded off TV, it's just a bunch of movies. That, like you could probably find elsewhere. These are rare plastic caps for trash. True Confessions. Five dollars. Property of Hi-Ho Video, Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> okay. This, this tape has come from a far away place. I want to go through them first. We're organizing right now. Bitstream fonts. So these are a bunch of zip disks. We have three zip disks here. And we have a zip drive. So this is a SCSI zip drive, iOmega Zip 100 drive. Some dust on it, but there you go. Now I'm, not, I'm really just organizing things, things that I know are, are trash I'm throwing out. Um, I will part for, with things I'm sure at one place, one point or another. Uh, this is a weird DVI thing. I think it's a dual stream or a double headed uh, DVI plug. You plug it in and you get two DVI ports. Well, this has a VGA adapter on the end of it, which are going to take off. I probably have a dozen zip drives. I don't know if they all work though. I guarantee they don't all work. But yeah. All right. So that goes in the cable bin. This could go in my pocket so I don't forget about it. All right. Sorry for all the noise. <laughs> this is from work. I used to work with that guy. He was a jerk. All right, so all the media tapes and stuff are going to go back in here. And I'll keep the drives and put them in there. And one lone VHS. Blues Brothers. For better or for worse. The Breakfast Club. Partial. That goes to the VHS tapes over here. You're installing Windows 98 in parallels right now. May God have mercy on your soul. Okay. This is a battery. To some Dell machine. Now, I'm not going to throw the battery out because that would be uh, foolish of me. I do know someone who recycles those. So that will get recycled. Okay, now that bin is empty again. Excellent. All right, all right. No, it's not, it's not, that's not a new battery, trust me. That was an old battery that was put in a box to replace the new one. Okay, sorry, just catching up on the chat here. We've got 57 people watching, my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a few more minutes here. Then I'm gonna take a, a break for dinner because I'm starting to feel lightheaded. And that means I'm probably going to trip over something and smack my head open. That's probably not good. Okay. All right. Well, it's for a Dell. I don't have any Dell laptops. But I know a recycler, so I'll give that to him. All right. What else? What other bins we got to go through here? Well, this was... Uh, bunch of cables I, I know what's in here so I'm gonna put that by the cable box bin of cables rather din din I want chicken I want liver meow mix meow mix please deliver a surge master master of the surge Those shelves are new, madam. I will have you know, I paid good money for those shelves. They are not as dinky as they look. Trust me, they're holding up a lot of weight. <laughs> right, 
this uh, power strip thingy uh, I'm gonna put over here because it I picked it up from there before uh, let's see what's in what's on them hey what's on them is some good stuff we got some power books there we got a Macintosh uh, duo disc uh, an Apple duo disk drive we got an iMac G4 we got multiple G4 cubes that stuff it ain't going to the recycler There's a trash bag. There's some stuff in there. But, yeah. Alright. Um, I'm getting a little loopy, so I should probably eat something. So, yeah. Um, it will. I don't. I have no reason to hold on to old batteries. Trust me. Um, so, I'm going to take a bit of a dinner break. Probably like 10-15 minutes. Um trying to think of a way to keep you fellas entertained for a while. Uh, I know. I'll be right back in one minute. went that way and you came back. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, yeah, there's a lot of crap I gotta clean up. This is this is what happens when I go to get something in the garage and I go, oh, I'll do a stream on this, and I put it on the table behind me, and I sort of forget about it. So, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna do something here. Uh, while I go take a snack, you guys are gonna going to uh, be my guests of honor to uh, watch the little bunnies on parade. If I could remember the password <laughs> for this camera, darn it! Um, is there any password? No. What the heck is it? There we go. <laughs> Bunny one two three. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me this camera uses flash. Okay, good, it doesn't. <laughs> that would be a bit problematic. Just a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab something to eat. Uh, my food's already made upstairs um, because I'm hungry. Um, but what I will do is where's the, where's the setup button here? Um, yeah, I guess I could do that. So I'm going to share a thing here in OBS so you could see the little bunnies at least. So you won't be as bored uh, when I'm stuffing my face upstairs. So let's do uh, window capture. And you could pipe in your own music. How about that? Oh, there's the buns. And... There we go. So you'll see a bunny like that. Let me uh, add a microphone too so I could talk for a little bit. Okay, so hopefully you can still hear me. So, um, can I sing for you? I'm, I'm gonna be eating, my mouth is gonna be busy. So, here's Gus Gus. Gus Gus is the one closest to the camera. Gus Gus is white with tan spots and her sister Olivia is to the right. So you might see them hanging around. I will put some food in their dish right before I go upstairs. So you're going to see them munch. The other bunny in the distance there is Misty. Misty is all white and she's a lot bun. Her ears are down. And so, yeah. So I'm going to go eat up. Eat up. <laughs> eat up Martha. I'm going to go eat up some... Eat, <laughs> heat up my food. Jeez. Um, and uh, the bunnies will be here for a while. Now what I will do is let me put some text up here so people know where the heck I've been, or where I'm going rather. And you could watch the cute little bunnies. I know people don't like to like the video, but if you if you if uh, you can, please do. Please like the video. Helps us grow and all that stuff, you know. Um, but yeah. And I need to find, uh, can I change the color of this text or no? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Where's the color on this thing? Where is Here, color one. Oh, I don't want a gradient. That'll look silly. This isn't GeoCities. That's close enough. <laughs> Those are excellent da names, Dana. Perfect names for the bunnies. All right, so I'm going to go uh, eat for a bit. I will entertain you with bunnies, or they will entertain you, rather. I'm going to put some treats in their dish. So enjoy the 1990s quality webcam. I will be back shortly. Pipe in your own music, please.
Okay, I have returned. And I was listening to myself on you watching the stream on YouTube, so that was the echo there. But, uh, alright, so. Whew. How you guys doing? Still got 40, 50 of you here, my goodness. Alright, so that was a good break. <laughs> yes, food coma. And, uh, oh, the bunnies are now eating again too. So Olivia, that's Olivia there. She's a little munch. She loves munching. She's a good girl. All right, so uh, we're going to continue here. This was uh, the Jazz Drive that has its bezel missing. I don't know if it works or not. Um, I forgot where I got this from, but yeah, Jazz Drive. So I'll go with the, the zip drive that's in there. Um, I guess I'll bring out another another bin here to go through. Uh, I know what's in those, so that won't be exciting. And th those bins are the two big ones behind me. <coughs> excuse me, are fairly organized, so we don't have to really go through those. Um, got a box of diskettes here. They actually call them diskettes. I just call them discs. But how much did I pay for these? One dollar at Goodwill. I think that's a good deal for twenty-five sealed high-density floppies. So. Put that in the media basket over there. I like your new food coma. All right, so, um, yeah, I guess we'll go through that bin. So let me, let me move this stuff over. Yeah, I mean, I, I never really use the parallel stuff, but from what I hear, they work the most reliable. Yeah, it does look weird without the bezel. And I'm sitting on a chair that is partially broken, so if my butt just slams on the ground anytime in the near future, that's why. All right, let's move this VCR. Where can I put this thing? It's kind of a tower of junk here. That's where my headphones went. I'll put those over there. All right, so. Well, yes, you'll all laugh when you do. All right, when I do, rather. All right, here's the heater for my ultrasonic cleaner. That goes over there, so. Not a good look? Okay. This is a box of fairly newly acquired stuff. We're putting it here. G3 blue and white. <laughs> uh, this uh, had some water on it, uh, under it rather, but thankfully the feet lifted off the ground. So I don't think water got into it. Nah, everything's nice and squeaky clean inside. So that's good. So I'm gonna put that down here. Okay. So I'm, I'm, this is, there's a big bin here. This one right here, I'm gonna drag this over. So. Ah. I know what this stuff is. That goes with the stuff in the upstairs closet. All right, so we have another bin here of goodies and ridiculously long cables. Oh, this is a, you can tell what this is for right away. This is for a Super Nintendo. I know Jay's gonna be like, what? It's for a uh, Super Nintendo power adapter. It's a bin inside of a bin, man. And my MacBook is freaking out because it's, uh, hold on one second, because I still have the webcam stream of the bunnies running. There we go. Hold on. Uh, come on. Let me drag the window. There we go. You shouldn't be that laggy now. I heard you like bins, so I put your bins inside your bins. 
A very dated joke, I'm sure. Okay, so... We need a new bin for cables. Let's point the camera a little bit down. There we go. Okay, so this is the new bin for cables. Hey, I just said I had the power adapter for it. It wasn't saying that it's like the best thing ever made. I was a Sega kid, so yep, exactly. Same with me. Link's this power adapter. Uh, this is a Canon power cord for a Canon camcorder. Watch out, Trina's a mod, she'll get you. <laughs> uh. Uh, so this is for my old uh, HV20 high definition camcorder. My first high definition camcorder I got in 2007, like December 2007 or January 2008, something like that. We have an Apple Desktop Bus Mouse 2. How about that? Future technology on mini DV cassette. I think the Virtual Boy makes a lot of people ill to look at for more than five minutes. Let me, uh, let me adjust. I'm sitting down, so it's harder to see the chat. So let me just zoom that in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. I can see you now. I can smell you. All right, here we go. As the camera wobbles, the camera's gonna go in the trash bin. You're late, that's yeah, okay. We are waiting for you, and now you showed up. All right, so we have, these are very handy. These are like a pass-through, so you could actually plug a, a monitor into this and then plug this into a power supply of the back of a machine. Very handy. Uh, here's another RCA cable. And we have an Apple branded Y splitter thingy for a microphone. A little Apple logo right there. And uh, so this was to convert the microphone port to use your standard RCA left and right jacks so yeah that's a handy little thing I need to uh, I, 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 uh, uh, stretched for this all right so this doesn't really need a twist tie but I'm gonna twist tie to the bigger cable so some good stuff in this bin that's for Dana. Dana lacks the noises. Oh no, this twist tie is too small. No. No. no we'll, we'll save you for a cable of left's discriminating length. Oh, this is a good one. This is a Panasonic 3DO mouse. That's right, this is a mouse for the Panasonic 3DO console. Yes, I own one. Yes, it works. And yes, I overpaid for this mouse. But it does work. So this white uh, drawer thing, you can only see the top of it here. This has a bunch of video game stuff in it. So I will be putting this away with the video game stuff. The top drawer is Sega, middle drawer is Nintendo, and then there's miscellaneous stuff. So. They probably just bought the same shell out of a mouse or whatever. But. Let's see, there's their room in the top. Yep, there is. Let's put that in there. And we have a Panasonic 3DO Dusty Controller. How about that? There you go. The console is upstairs in my office. And the weird thing about these controllers is you had to daisy chain them. There was only one port on the system. So. And I dropped the plastic. Ah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sure your tunes are better than whatever I was saying. 3DO mouse, 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 mouse. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the games were like multimedia, point and click type stuff. So mouse actually works out for some of those games or like the arcade shooter games or whatever you could use a mouse on. All right, so that's all nice and twist tied. I also have a CDI. The local game store had that at a good price and I, I bought the silly thing. What is the twist tie roll? That's this thingy. That just has a bunch of twist ties. I got it off Amazon. Heart Journey. Heart Journey Gardening Tool Series. Your gardening expert. Yeah, that's just a lot of twist ties. To create my museum. Well, I don't have a museum, and I think probably legally I cannot call it a museum. But um, I've been collecting stuff. Jeez, I don't know, since the mid-1990s? <laughs> uh, I would love to have it in a state where people could come over and look at stuff, eventually. When all this craziness in the world has calmed down. But I wouldn't necessarily call it a museum at this point. Lucky Gold Star! We have a zip disc here. It says 2CD on it. So... It's gonna go ah, with the uh, discs. You have a Memorex high density floppy disk. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. A friend of mine wrote on this disk because he was a PC guy and I was a Mac guy, and I'm sure he would not be surprised to know I still have this disk. Global Facts OCR. All right, what else we got on here? Internet Starter Kit. Mac TCP. <laughs> oh boy. Has a, this floppy disk with, has a date of February 1996. Look at all those goodies. Look at all that. Look at all that. Are you ready to go online? Well, here you go. GameMaker.sit. Game Maker. That sounds like fun. Game Maker. Hey, Dana, I think I have a boxed copy of Eudora. Yeah, it's right over there. Eudora Mail Pro. I think it's for Windows, but it's boxed and sealed in the shrink wrap if you want it. It is right over there on the shelf. I have absolutely no use for it. Put those discs over there, teetering very closely to the trash. Ah, yes. My Palm Treo. Well, one of them. <laughs> this I got at a thrift store for all of $4.99. Oh, uh, this is the AT&T singular branded uh, one. And this actually runs the Palm OS. Some of these uh, ran Windows. Uh, this is actually a Palm OS one, one, and it has an SD card slot and the infrared, which is great. So I actually still use some of these from time to time as a universal remote. And my wife will back me up on this. I had a Verizon one when her, uh, what was it, uh, LG chocolate phone died. She used this for like a week or two before we got her a replacement. And it drove her crazy, but it was a phone and she could text message on it. So there you go. But yeah, it's a chunktastic little phone here. It does still work. The screen is in good shape. So I'm going to keep that over there. And this is a, a Tolsby. A Tolsby. Who's got the Tolsby? Uh, so this is a little picture frame thing. I got it to put a picture in. What good is it doing down here without a picture? So I'm going to put that over. And we got another PCI cord bracket. We have what looks like to be a part of a rusted screwdriver going in the trash. 
And this is a drill bit thingy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we got a pen. If this pen doesn't write, it's going in the trash. Place your bets. What do you think is going to happen? Let's try and write something. Up so far. So far we got nothing. In the trash it goes. The one thing I hate is pens that don't write and I just hang, like if I keep them around by mistake. Ugh, hate it. Alright, so. Alright, so I actually have lids for these containers, so that's good. So here's our, here's bin of wires number two. Alright, so here's the next bin to sort through. They got a SCSI cable. This is a long one. Jeez. It's a long one. Dear Mac84, at YouTube, we've decided to demonetize your channel for the amount of gurgling noises you have made. Please reconsider your content. some apple pens and stuff like that that I will uh... <laughs> uh thanks I think oh, this one's already wrapped up for me uh, firewire uh, DV plug to firewire 400 and another one <laughs> and another one <laughs> I guess this was the firewire bin at one point oh this is very fitting Spring cleaning. We're technically doing that, but it's still the winter. So. <laughs> oh, so we got some discs in here. This one's no labeled. We got some zips. Attachment files, gags, etc. Ooh, gags. That sounds silly. I want to look through that. <laughs> System 753 update. Install. Keep. 2001. Wow. This, I'm sure this came from my dad. So, Firewire.bin. Oh, uh, here we go. Atlas Super Paint Disc 4. It, it should be for part two because there will be more of this. Oh, this is a good floppy disk. I made this in July of 2016. This is very handy for PCs. This is a generic USB driver that will allow flash drives to be um, to be read on a PC. So uh, you can't really read it because it's written on black marker on a black disk. But this is generic USB flash drive for Windows 98 driver. So, and this is a Zip 250 disk case. Uh, Mac Lightning. The best of EduCorp. SCSI Installer Program Disc for Unimac. A tour of your Macintosh 2CX. Hyperdisc. I'm pretty sure I archived these discs because a few of them uh, I know I had archived. So I'm going to put them in a pile over there and I will uh, make sure I did. Here's another Mac Lightning disc. Put that there. After Dark Starter Edition for Macintosh. Uh, this is this is something I'm going to do a video on eventually. This is a um, this is called Run PC. It's basically a remote desktop type thing, but for PCs and Macs. So I got to I got to get that to work and then maybe do a video on it. Super convert, please distribute freely. Well, yeah, okay, cool. all right, I, I can do that. Pretty sure you're already on Macintosh Garden, but if you're not, you will soon be there. Apple multiple scan software, software, software. 
Textures Instruments Micro Laser Series Printer Drivers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I archived most of these. If not, I will uh, be sure to do so again. Was your sink the cause of the flood or just rain? Sink. Well, not the sink, but the pipes. No, there was. I'm, I'm not skipping over any. CDR driver kit. <laughs> I love the icons of this. Express modem install. Yeah, the ones I don't read out, there's nothing interesting written on them. Diamond drive. I bet your drive ain't made out of diamonds. Now we're just getting silly. Got some memory here. Uh, PC 133, 256 megabyte. Good to have. Uh, 512 megabytes of DDR. Okay. Uh, 2 gigabyte DDR. Really? 2 gigabyte DDR? DDR 400, 2 gigabytes? That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Huh. Was this the broken one I got? No, I don't think this is the broken one. Yeah, this is DDR 400, two gigabyte. I, it might have been server memory, who knows. I'll put that in the pile with the other memory. We have a uh, 72 pin thing without a label that makes any sense. So there we go. And another 512 megabyte DDR. So very handy. Another one of these weird PC bracket PS2 slash serial or parallel or whatever the heck dongles are going there. Ah, this is a, a original Palm Pilot cable. And then we have a PC serial to Macintosh serial adapter. So those in the cable bin. Um, we have an Apple microphone. Another piece of memory, uh, 256 DDR, all right. Never have enough of these. These are uh, Macintosh DB15 to VGA adapter. Keeping that there. And uh, this is some sort of uh, DIN plug that I bought off eBay to make a cable of. And a quarter, a whole quarter. Oh, and we have found uh, we found the other part of that iBook key spring thingy. Ah, stand up here and put that over there. Don't spend it all on some fancy record player. Cool pocket CDR. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is one of those smaller CDRs. Of course, I was the kid that thought these were cool, so I bought them. I actually have a, a backup of one of my iDiscs on this, but look at the back. It's all black colored and stuff. I thought these were cool. Extreme 90s burner CDRs on 8mm CDs. 24 minutes or 210 megabytes to the max. Yeah, so that's a CD. Alright, uh, all that remains in here is dust. Alright, so now we have another bin. I'm actually going to put the floppies in here. Because I know we're going to find more. And I know we had another bin for discs, but that one's almost full. So put the uh, all the floppies in here. Flippity floppity, flippity floppity. All right. Well, I mean, I better if I just held on to a bottle of junk, that would just be annoying. I wouldn't. <sighs> all right. Garbage. Hey Mike, here's the thing for the G, the Mac Pro. <laughs> Mike's probably asleep. Your finder needs more shelves, file cabinets. Yes, it does. All right. Um, 
me move some of this stuff first. Let me see. Ah. That's a ooh. Ken stopped by. Really? I didn't see him. He shouldn't be blocked. <laughs> if he has oopsies. All right. So we got. Oh, this is a Lacey brand. Um, <laughs> designed by Porsche. That's why I took the hard drive out of the case because there was no airflow. Uh, this is a just a IDE hard drive case. I had the adapter somewhere for it. A remote. Gosh, look at the look at how chunky this remote is. It looks like a telephone. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's an RCA Universal. Universal for something. Oh boy. Uh... Oh, I know where this goes. There's cables on the floor, so I'm just picking them up. Uh, USB Mini B cable. And another Palm Pilot uh, syncing cable. I mean, th that that was probably from the early 2000s. I mean, since when weren't they a generic company? RCA had the uh, horrible tendency of moving into an area, building a factory, declaring bankruptcy, and moving to another area and doing the same thing. That's why Camden, New Jersey is such a crap hole. Well, one of the reasons, let's be honest. All right. Well, yeah. There. And... Hold on. There's a wire stuck under this thing. All right. So we have a huge extension cord here. Whee! This was attempted to be wrangled up at one point, and I failed. Let's try that again. So this is a trick. You use it like Indiana Jones. You hold it in your hand, and you just, like a whip, you just wrangle it around. It helps when the cable isn't all tangled, and you don't have arm hair on your arms. Ow. The hard part is getting your hand out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's not nice to say, Nick. extension cord. On this episode of This Old House, we clean a very messy basement. And you can see how discouraging this sometimes is because it looks like we're not making a lot of progress, but it takes time. And of course we spend time because I'm talking to you guys, but that's the fun part. Alright, what else we got in here? A DVI cable. How about that? Yeah, I know the Claire. The uh, description is old, and uh, I was in too much of a rush installing OBS on this machine to fix the description. But I figure people usually just read the titles anyway. The live stream of the PowerBook was um, was the last live stream I did. Oop, oop. Yeah, I am, but I got to clean up all the stuff first. I talked about that at the top of the show. Um, but I gotta clean out all this stuff before I uh, do anything. Uh, 
I mean, you could maybe write DVDs in OS 9. It's not going to have any idea what the heck a Blu-ray is. I could guarantee you on that. not going to be a live stream of construction unless you like hearing cursing. And I just broke that twist tie. Boo! I'm the first one that broke. Hope that's not a sign of things to come. Try and salvage this here. Because I don't like making waste, as you can tell. There's no, there's no construction. I'll be putting up a wall. Maybe. <laughs> That'll be about it. You're putting up a wall and a door. I'm just, I assure you it's not going to be that exciting. Okay, what else we got? Another audio cable. <laughs> the cursing may be entertaining. Join me on my other channel, Mac84 Constructs Crap. <laughs> yeah, paint drying! See, Ashton has the, the bright idea. Jump over to uh, Ashton's channel to watch paint dry. Here is an uh, uh, official Apple dock cable for an iPod or an iPhone. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Alright, what else we got? We got a Polaroid camera. This is a boxy little thing, isn't it? Made in the United Kingdom. How about that? Boxy little Polaroid camera. Alright, here we go. This is, well, most of you probably know what this is already. This is an Apple DVI to ADC adapter and lets you use your ADC monitor on a DVI Mac. Now this still has the plastic on it. It looks dirty. This still has the plastic on it. Hmm? Now when I tested this, it did not work. But this still has the plastic on it. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, I'm not going to peel it off now. I want to see if this works. Uh, I'm going to test it with another machine because it, it is possible maybe I, I just couldn't get it to work on the machine I was trying at the time. Um, so I'm going to keep everything just kind of as it is right now. I'm going to put this in a bin to look at later. I can at least uh, wrap up this cable. I mean, honestly, there, there could be, uh, you know, it's a power supply. There could be filtering caps or some other weird junk going on in there. Uh, Apparently they're a pain in the butt to open, so let's hope that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, a thousand subscribe, uh, ten thousand subscriber, uh, plastic peel, yo. I'm just trying to wrap this cable around with this twist tie, and it is not cooperating. Come on. That's going to be as good as it does. As good as, it, as good as it gets, rather. All right, so another power cable. I know, very exciting. There. Now I look less tub. Giant mag safe. Powerbook G5. <laughs> oh boy. Well, here's already wrapped up for me. It's a brand new extension cable for a MacBook or a Powerbook. Very, very handy. <laughs> Powerbook G5 confirmed. Oh, okay. This used to be filled with little tool bits. And I actually found some of the tool bits while I was cleaning up, so. 
that's gonna go over there. Okay, we have another DVI cable. Already the twist tie on it. That's good. Ooh, Aladdin's Arabian Adventures. This must be pretty radical. An old D-Link router. Well, now you can put that Ethernet cord uh, in this anti-static bag. Oh, I remember those days as well, Matt. I remember those days as well. Trina. Tekken Tag Tournament. Yeah. More lottery tickets I didn't win on. From November 15th, 2013. In the garbage it goes. This looks like a lightsaber or nunchucks or something. Uh, what the heck is this? Is this like a fan or something? Moshi, Moshi. I don't know what it is. Probably one of those laptop uh, cooler things. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's a fan. I see the fan now. It says two little fans here and here. I mean, that's very intriguing. That goes back in the bin, I guess. Another Firewire 400 to 400 cable. Uh, this is SATA to eSATA and USB. I never had a use for that, but maybe one day I will. Oh, this is a power adapter to a brother label printer, which I just saw somewhere. Um, so. I have to find where that went. I have a Sony Watchman too. They are pretty darn cool. Alright. Here's a Sony power adapter for a camcorder or a Mavica floppy disk camera. Something along those lines. <laughs> here's probably the power cable for said Mavica floppy disk thing. And here's a, a string of wire that's going in the trash no I don't have a, I don't have a bio so I don't think that would be a power supply for it. hope this is as exciting as uh, you hoped it would be well if you guys have any questions this is an interactive chat we're just sorting through stuff have any questions about the channel, about my videos, what's the best color, I don't know. <laughs> Another USB to USB-B. Uh, the next step, when this is all, um, when this is all sorted, we'll be putting all the USBs into the same bin and all that stuff. But right now we're just getting all the junk out and throwing stuff out and, uh, <laughs> Same here, Matt. Why do you think I'm doing that? <laughs> um, oh, here's the power adapter for that Palm Trail. And since you've all been swell, let's plug it in. It has the weirdest plug. Oh, green. Key Lime is obviously the best color. I mean, <laughs> no question. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. I'll ask my niece who the best pony is. She has ideas. There we go. There's the weird power plug for the uh, thingy. <laughs> yeah, plug it in. I got this at a Goodwill for all of 47 cents, so it better work, god darn it. Here we go. Palm one. Look at it go. That's six dollars well spent. I love this little thing. Oh, I think it's 2011. How cute. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> There's people's text messages on this thing. I don't think I turned it on since I got it from the store. My goodness. Yeah, let's see what version of Palm OS this is. Uh, there we go. I do, Philip. I do. I do. Really cool. I'm going to let that charge for a while. And we'll see if the battery explodes or if it will actually retain a charge. There's a lot of pictures on here. A whole bunch of kids and stuff. Like, it makes me sad like somebody probably didn't get all the stuff off of their phone. Well, I'll let that charge for a bit. Ah. A Watchman is basically a portable television made by Sony. Think of a Walkman, but a Watchman. Ah, yeah. Another extension cord. You would think I had a shortage at one point. Ah, some of them were really portable. The CRT ones, maybe not so much. Oh, you can get a you can get a battery though, Matt. I actually have a battery. Oh no, that's for an LG chocolate. So like a month before my wife got a new phone, well, she was my girlfriend at the time. Um, I bought an extended battery for an LG phone. Um, uh, LG chocolate and it was like it was supposed to double the battery life forever it was a chunky thing uh, and of course I had it for like a month and then <laughs> she ended up getting a new phone so money well spent money well spent oh thank you Philip I appreciate you stopping by I know this is not exactly uh, my normal type of videos here but um, I have to clean my basement and I figured do it with some company so there you go yeah, now they're getting out of the phone business, I think. So, now the tables have turned. I have a blue watchman right here. Right here. And people say I'm not organized. Look at that, Philip. It's blue. Also have a uh, LC2 Color Classic 32 megahertz upgrade card. This is a uh, Casi Casio Crystal Vision portable television. An Apple microphone. Math coprocessor for a uh, LC. Yeah, probably did. They were very popular. And what else is in here? This is a Lenovo power adapter. My World Series Baseball '95 Blue Sega Game Gear. Uh, this this is all full of full of cool stuff. We'll get to that, I swear. We'll get to that another day. Ah, it's all in my fingers. If Bruce was watching, he'd be cringing. Okay. 
I know, I love that blue color too. I have to do all the caps in my Game Gears. They're, they're all uh, in uh, bad need of restoration, I assure you. Ah, I'm dropping everything here. Trash. 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 Well, I have to keep this sticker. I have to keep that. That is something I gotta keep. So that actually goes to the same. There's a box up there. I'm gonna just put it uh, into that box there. Let me just grab that. So I have this box. And that was for the LC575 board that somebody sold me uh, with a uh, color classic. Is the board still in here? No, I have Apple boards in here. This is uh, a memory upgrade for an Apple II. I have some, I have some memory in here. I have an Intel 46DX, 33 megahertz, I think. This this is a Zip GSX processor accelerator, I believe, for an Apple II GS. So that's keeping this stuff in here. Oh, what? There's a note. I wrote myself a note. Apple II GS cards, Zip GSX 1.02 CPU upgrade. Applied Engineering GS RAM 2 Memory Upgrade Card, April 15th, 2008. That's when I got these. These were installed in a broken Apple II GS I got from a thrift store for like 20 bucks. The power supply was bad, but the card still worked. So the rest are in my, uh, are actually in my Apple II. Which I had to recap the power supply on. Oh, these were cool. All right, so when I went to Japan, uh, the, um, oh man, it's all, yeah, whatever. Um, at the, uh, Ginza Sony Park, they had an exhibit called Walkman in the Park, and it was celebrating 40 years of the Sony Walkman. So they gave you this little map type thing. So this stayed straight all the way from Japan. I packed it well. And... It goes over all the Walkman and uh, CD players and uh, mini discs and all the stuff that was on display. Gives you a little map, gives you a little history of it, and uh, told you where where the floors were for everything and everything. So, um, very cool to have these still. Uh, this is in Japanese, so this is the same map and uh, brochure, but it's in Japanese. And the idea was you would walk around each one and you would get a stamp. And when you when you completed one of these with the stamp, you would trade it in, you would get a little a little book. And so I have that book, but I also went around and got these stamped just as souvenirs. And I was going to give one to uh, Techmone on YouTube. And I don't I forget if he said he wasn't interested or or, you know, it would be too much to ship or what, because I didn't want to fold it. But very cool. These were actual stamps. You walked around the, the museum and uh, you got to stamp them. So these are staying safe in this box because they are very special to me. whole bin pretty much 
All right, we have a floppy drive that's all dusty. We have to fix that. We have another disc. I don't know what the heck is on there. Uh, that goes in there. Yeah, they're not really posters. They're more like brochures, but yeah. We'll let you know. Um, here's an IDE to Firewire bridge thingy. Uh, this is a uh, print server, an HP Direct EN3700 Ethernet print server. So the idea is you plug in USB to the printer, you plug in a power cable, and you plug in Ethernet, and this makes your printer go from USB to Ethernet. Another USB cable. Garbage. 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 All this dust is garbage. Go in the garbage. Can't say that I do know them. And then we have a memory card with my name on it for the Nintendo 64. How about that? All right, so this bin is empty. Um, we'll probably put all the cables in. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all the cables in this bin. But now they're all neatly, you know, tied up. So. so at least the cables are in there. Where they are supposed to be. Um, I had another one of cables. Where did I put that? There was another bin of cables. It was full of surprises. It was fun. Well, I had fun. I hope you did. Oh, here it is. Ah. Okay. So now we have more smaller bins to help us organize things. And this bin I have a lid for, so once we fill it up, we can actually uh, we can actually stack it somewhere and get it off the floor. Good bin for cables. Okay. Got another power cable here. Ah. I don't know, it's from Ikea. It's broken, but it still works. After all this, I will be throwing out the chair. But for now, I my butt is using it, so. Oh, well, not 74. It's probably from, like, 2003. If I had, if I, if I had to guess. Ah, I had to get up and free a cable. This is probably the first soldering iron I ever had. This is a Radio Shack model. It could be it could be a slightly replacement one, but this is the same type I had. This was the first one I had, um, and it simply has a 15 watt and a 30 watt switch. That's all it is. But this was the first one, or one of the first ones I ever used, and just a very simple Radio Shack one. Kind of sentimental because that's what I learned to solder on. It still works. It actually, it actually wasn't a bad iron. Uh, the tip was crap. I had to get a new tip for it, but uh, it was it was a good it was a good iron to learn from. Well, I will give it that. Now you know you're all seeing the lower half of me, which is not ideal. That's, Got some more cables to go through. We have another, another SATA cable here. And look at that. There's a twist tie on the floor that'll fit that perfectly. Okay. We have a 
coaxial cable here, which has a rubber band on it. I wonder if I could actually tie this up with the band or if it's going to snap. It did. How about that? You can never have too many cables, period. <laughs> That's the motto of my life that I have poorly chosen. Yeah, you know, Santa cables are handy to have. Get another power cable. I'd, I don't know why I would paint the concrete, though. I'd probably put down an area rug, but I don't know if I would paint it. It's, there's no real point to me in painting. I'm not selling the house or anything, so I don't have to make it pretty. I need to check how many people were watching, because I've been sitting down the entire time. Da, 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 da. 55 people! Oh my goodness, if that's correct. Sweet! Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you have not checked out, most of you probably did. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so. But if you haven't checked out my video on the Macintosh clones, the rise and fall of the Macintosh clones, video part one, I would highly appreciate you checking that out. Uh, that was a video that took me a very long time to do the research for and uh, a very long time to produce. And I'm very happy with the way it came out. And so if you have not seen that, let me know and go see that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then if I drop a black screw, I'm screwed, literally. <laughs> uh, so that Macintosh clone video I started uh, preparations for in one form or another. This is a Sega power supply, so I'm putting it with the video game stuff. Uh, in one form or another in uh, 2017. So that was a long time coming. And uh, very happy to get part one out of the way. Part two will probably take a while. Part two will probably take, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put an estimate of, and just an estimate of the summer or so to get that done. Uh, Cause I wanna take a bit of a break, a bit of a breather. And I wanna re, uh, look at my research and all this stuff and just make sure um, that everything is accurate. Don't wanna make a fool out of myself. Oh, thank you very much, Matt, appreciate it. That twist tie is too short for this cable. That twist tie is too long. My porridge is too cold. All right, oh, we got another DVI cable. Where were you the other day when I was looking for you, huh? Where were you? <laughs> Good night, Trina. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. We have a uh, coaxial cable for VCR. Uh, we're gonna get to some computer junk probably soon because a lot of logic boards sitting in that bin what the heck well it's mine i mean all the client stuff is safely in a box i assure you <laughs> my own stuff is scattered but the stuff people send me to fix is thankfully very organized <laughs> otherwise i'd be in trouble all right now we got another uh there's a 25 pin to 50 pin scuzzy or no that's one two three Four, five, six. Yeah, it's 50. You have to do two twist ties on these sometimes. I don't know how long I've been streaming, to be honest, because the window is hidden on this small screen. So, I assume it's at least two and a half hours. Anyone want some distilled water? That's for the ultrasonic cleaner. That's what that's doing over there. That I should have knew that was going to happen. Right, let me just put this there. <laughs> no worries. See you later, Commodore. That plus another hour. Really? Wait, let me, let me get up and look at the thing. Because honestly, you guys are trying to bamboozle me. Oh, three hours and 30 minutes. My goodness. How about that? You got 52 people still watching. Well, hello, 52 of you. Thank you for, for sticking around. Let me just adjust my screen here so I don't have to keep getting up to look at these things. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, my YouTube thing says three hours and 30 minutes. But All right. I got that cable there.
Uh, here's a power cable for an eMac or an iMac or one of those. A lot of power cables. I don't think I've ever bought one. I always just like accumulate them. Okay, so bin. Garbage. 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 See, Trina's gone and now I'm throwing all the stuff out. They do, they just magically show up. Okay. What the heck is in here? The old mechanism for my, my screen door. Garbage. It's a plastic thingy that goes on my camera. All right, so we have another box we could throw out. Okay, see, we're making progress. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get a slightly different view because there's more space here now. It's all garbage. It's all garbage. Uh, more garbage, more garbage. Lots of stuff. More garbage. This bin, I know what's in there, so I'm not gonna go through that right now. Here's that label maker. That's what the power adapter is for. Singing and dancing live. Okay, so that's for that. Leave that there. Treasures everywhere. All right, what should we look through next? I guess we could look through this area here. So I'm gonna move the camera and stuff so you guys can see. Wait, did I look through this one already? Yeah. Here's, I mean, here's a cool thing. This is from an old Macworld. Insist on NVIDIA. more cables. These are more Apple Talk cables and SCSI cables. I'll zip tie those in a second. I didn't kill anybody. Some oh, it's an I Omega power adapter. How about that? Okay, let me just uh, tidy this one up a little bit. Look how long the cable is. Look how bulky the power adapter is.
All right, so here's what looks like two local talk cables. We should untangle these now, shouldn't we? <laughs> I think if there was any dead bodies in this basement, I would smell them by now. I have been here for a few years. <laughs> yeah, Trent, I need one of those myself, so uh, no. I do not have one of those. That is one of the cables I know for sure I definitely do not have. I have the parts to make my own, but I don't have one right now. go we have two uh, we have two Apple local talk cables and here are some SCSI cables you know what I have to say about that storm crash there's already one installed yeah, this house already has some phone wiring in it. <laughs> so what do you think we're going to do with that? Exactly. Local talk goodness. <laughs> Trust me, I thought about that before. <laughs> um, Scott the Great, uh, thank you for the comment. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of those places exist anymore. Or they're not open right now. So, um, can't... Uh, can't really do that. Um, I do have some stories I could tell about how, think, how I picked up some things, uh, but probably nothing on that scale. But that's just, you know, that's, I can't make stuff up. That's just the way things are. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of, there's a lot of wires everywhere. Yeah, they, I believe they tore down that uh, Gowanus e-waste place uh, in Brooklyn. Very sad. I think they had a pop-up thing where they were accepting stuff. I don't know, the 50s, Nick? I don't know. Um, nice. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can do uh, power over Ethernet, but those are phone lines. They're not uh, Ethernet. Piece of wood. This is an old monitor. Some of you may remember from the old, old live streaming days when I used to do a live stream or a video recording and I would use this monitor. And the reason I liked using this monitor is it had both VGA and DVI inputs, so it was easy to have two things plugged in at once. It still works. It was just on this desk over here where this laptop is, so uh, I just took it off of there. But yeah. View Sonic. You know, these cables are a pain in the butt to twist tie on there. So I'm just going to keep that on there and I'm just going to put a twist tie on it. Oh, okay, I didn't know that about the PoE adapter. Interesting. I don't think I'd ever have used it, but good to know, I guess. monitor we'll just sit on top of this tower for now yeah I don't I, I mean I picked it up out of a bin of work stuff I have no intention of using it Oh, I know what this was for. I was writing down the jumper settings for an old PC motherboard. All right. Oh, these, I already did a video about all those cables, but the bag broke, so I have to zip tie them up. But you can see, there's 
a floor. So yay. Um, yeah, there, I know what's on that table, so I'm not dealing with that today. Um, VCRs, TVs, uh, Compact Max I have to clean up. Uh, so that's here. That's there. But we're going to be focusing here. So much room for activities. Sean's like, if I go over there, I'm going to get lost. There goes the wood. Ugh. All right, so we're focusing on this area now. And it's not as bad as it looks. Well, it is bad, but it's not as bad as it looks. And our uh, Palm Pilot is still charging up. All right, cool. So, like, this is the problem. I have bins with, like, stuff that I pulled down from the attic to look at, and I just, I just never do. Let's see what we got here. We got a notepad full of old notes from a job that I have not worked at since 2012. Oh, I know why I kept this. I have drawings and postcards in here. All right, well, I'll look through that and reminisce another time. Sonic Spinball. These are kind of fun. It's remote to a Samsung DVR, DVD recorder. Broken light bulb. This has sensitive information on it. I have to shred that. Great mass detective on VHS. The tape is actually in there. <gasps> I had some other VHS tapes. Oh, did that crack? That's annoying. The last fling. So this was from this was from a no the remote's not trash. I have the recorder for that. This was from a thrift store that used to have tons of videotapes, and these are like broadcast tapes. So they would like I don't know if they were recorded for broadcast or they were just backups or whatever. But this is a screener videotape has a date of March fourth, nineteen ninety three, a length of ninety five minutes and zero nine seconds. And it's called The Last Fling. So probably, Matt. I have no idea. I bought a few of them. Uh, the case is cracked on this, which is surprising, because I thought it was in better shape. But We have a battery holder, but the batteries are going in the trash, because they are corroded. Uh, this is a plastic guide for the new bus cards, or PCI cards for... Uh, I believe the 8500 or the uh, Quadra 800 or something like that. This is the very satisfyingly click magnet thingy for for a piece of furniture I have. Oh, this is a, an optical Toslink uh, adapter thingy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what it was for. Probably for sharing between stations or something. Who knows? Got a plastic bag I could reuse. Another one of these PC dealies that goes in there. An old outlet thing. Trash. 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 It's probably easier to pick out the things that aren't trash. Oh, a Toys R Us uh, thing. Trash. Let's see. What else is in here? Yeah, no ground outlet. Trash. Trash. Costco Wholesale. When the heck did I shop at a Costco? 2016. A piece of a rock? Huh. <laughs> Our 
plugged have been and then you were plugged. It's the geekiest, one of the geekiest conversations I've ever heard. I'm just taking out the little screws from the bottom of this bin. So they're probably the only things worth saving. You can never have enough screws. And the rest of this is trash. You had a good beat off that. We have three empty containers. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so those will be stay over there. Let's move the camera a little bit over. Uh, yeah, I'm, I didn't probably, I probably did not honestly intentionally keep that receipt. I was probably like, oh, there's a receipt. I don't know what it's for. Maybe I'll need it. And yeah. All right. Here's another VCR. This is a sharp VCR. Actually, a pretty decent. I mean, it's a pretty decent VCR. It's a bit beat up, but it still does work. Um, one of the screws has been removed off the back, and there's dust or salt or something all over it. But uh, uh, yes, we all have George Costanza wallets. Well, some of us do. I know I do. Well, I did. You clean it out, and then you forget where you put all the stuff. So this VCR will be hanging out there. So I gotta put that somewhere. I, I don't know, it's white substance. It's <laughs> I don't know what it is. How did I, this this not get zip tied? Ah. All right, so another DVI cable. It's going in the bin. What remains of a metal hook? Trash. Have a composite video cable and a little twist tie. That's trash. Where the good twist ties go? There they are. I should really be using the wide-angle camera because you'd probably be able to see more of me. That's all the way over there. Let's see if we get a better angle. Let's see if we move this. We are on a tripod that is semi-flexible. So let's see if I do something like that, maybe? Well, now you can see my gut. That's no fun. Oh, I, have to, I have to sort of get far away. Hi! I'll be sitting down in a second. Oh, here's a, a bunch of old iPods. Ooh. This goes somewhere special. Our videotapes that go somewhere special. It's a G4 tower. Be looking at that in a second. Serious inquiries only. Does anybody want an HP ScanJet ADF? I don't know why I picked this up. It was free. I didn't want to see it get trashed. I have absolutely no use for it. It does work. It really does. It's just... I have absolutely no use for the darn thing. big it's just bulky and I'm afraid I'm gonna step on it one day and then I'm gonna have to throw it out floppy disk filers the tape measure got some more 72 pin memory here and another USB card and an NVIDIA GeForce 2 MX card. How about that? These are all PCs. Gold minute. <laughs> I don't think I'll be that lucky. Garbage. 
See, a lot of this crap I just don't have the time to throw out, and it just collects on my desk or my furniture and should be tossed out. There were two drawers for this. Oh, there's one. Maybe? No. This is this is the kind of crap I have to deal with. Love your storage well. <laughs> this. <laughs> I am making progress. We moved the camera. What more do you people want? This is a dual iBook clamshell battery charger. So it takes an iBook clamshell AC adapter and you can charge two batteries at once. <gasps> wow. The Macintosh Plus, what it's doing all the way over here, I have a vague memory of. Those VHS tapes are family VHS tapes, and those are not going anywhere. Those, most of them have been digitized. So. Okay. I got that clamshell battery recharger back when I had a clamshell that worked, and I had multiple batteries that worked. So, made sense at the time. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out, but I'm gonna take a picture of it so I remember this. I don't need to hold on to the physical thing. No siree. All right. Yeah. So this this is uh, machine number two. Uh, I streamed this in May of 2020. No power. Very dirty inside. There we go. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of miscellaneous crap. I'm just I'm clearing out some of the stuff here, and then we'll we'll get into cleaning more bins. So here's another bin we could go through. Uh, let's see what I could do here. Oh my goodness. This is a drawing book for when I was a kid. Cartoon book number two. Oh man, I right, gotta save that. Oh boy. It's all garbage. garbage here. Let me let me see if I can move the camera a little bit here. This may take some careful maneuvering, so hold on. Hold, please. Maybe that'll stay. I'm not sure. But this is what we're working with here. I'm trying to clean this area here. There's space behind it, but it looks it looks crowded because of because of this. But you still can't see my face. But. Um, I don't know. That's a very good question. All right. An old laptop bag. 
which I probably don't need. Oh look, 11 cents. That is the shell of the 8500 that I picked up and the 8500 is right. 8500 is right, uh, you can't see it. It's right there and the shell is over there. Cause I took the shell off so I could look at the darn thing. Plastic fork, really? Not a spork, but a fork. I know you guys are lucky you don't got no pennies no more. This bag smells awfully a lot like perfume or something. I wonder if something like leaked in there. Spork! It's actually not a big lap laptop bag. I think that's why I kept this. I'll put it my 17-inch power book in here or something. Okay. Got a zip disk case. Got a wheel. Whee! No, I dropped it. Okay. Um, let's move the Mac Plus. Move the G4. So I'm going to go through this bin here. Now I'm going to sit down before I get dizzy. This is an iMac G4. It has a bag over its head to protect it. So I'm just going to gently place that on the floor. This is my Quadra 600 in pieces. The case is up there. So. Yes, the original Mac turned 37 today. Happy birthday, Mac. This is going to be weird because you're... I'm not going to be able to read any of the comments. Um, I'm going to have to move the laptop. Yeah. Give me a moment. He's moving the stream. He's moving it. Box goes... Where's my box pile to crush? There we go. There. Um, trash. Trash. Hey, a TiVo remote. Trash. Oh, there are batteries in here. Oh, I bet those are leaking. Actually, they're not, but they probably don't. Uh, they don't work anyway, so let me trash them. All right. Trash. Power adapter. Panasonic. No, what the heck is this is for? Another power adapter splitter thingy. An audio cable. And I'm just going to toss all these batteries out. They probably don't work. An advertisement that has an old address on it. No, thank you. Some trash. Well, that's 
where that wheel went. Where did I put that wheel? Darn it. <laughs> I had a wheel that goes for that thing. Don't know where that wheel went. There it is. Yay. There we go. Yeah, this is a little thing on wheels. And I'm going to have to glue that. It is handy when the wheel doesn't fall off because you can just roll it around. So I'm going to just put this over here upside down out of the way because I we have to clean all this stuff. But you can see a floor. There is a floor. So my mother used to say, oh my gosh, there's a floor. Here's my in-laws IBM PS1 consultant. And it does fully work, but uh, it's just going to be put off to the side for now. Okay. I think it's a 46. <laughs> I have the matching monitor for it too, Mike. The problem is I have to get the data off of it. And for whatever reason, all the machines I've tried to, to all the USB adapters I've tried, uh, don't want to work with the hard drive. So it's a bit of a project I have. <sighs> okay, so the G4 tower could go here. All right, now how do I, well, I guess I can move this monitor. I'm just talking to myself. So I want to put the laptop here and I'm going to work in this area. Because this stuff is pretty much in bins right now, but this is just a mess over here. So, not that the whole basement isn't a mess. All right, well, I could, I could go through this, well, now this stuff I know, I know has a special purpose. This is all stuff I need for current videos, including a label maker, some sonic sun cables. So this stuff will, let's put that. Gently on top of that for now. And this could go in there. This could go in there, and this could go over here. Oh. All right, that goes there. If you have an IBM question, Matt, Mike is the guy to ask. He knows his IBMs. Found my tape measure. All right, so let's attempt to move this stream without breaking everything. So if the camera or the audio goes off right now, uh, that's just temporary. the button on the microphone because I'm moving it, so hold on. So the laptop moved. Now we have to move the camera somewhere. Um, eh. Hey, Christopher. Sorry for the wiggly cam, just uh, trying to situate ourselves. 
for the new area I am focusing on. Eh, it's not the best. Hold on. Let me move some of these bins around. We can put this on an old G4 tower or something. I have a, a lid for this bin. That would really help that now. Uh, let me go upstairs and get a lid for this bin. I'll be right back. You play uh, Where's Waldo or whatever. He went the other way, but he appeared from that way. Witchcraft. All right, now that there's a lid on the container, I can stack the other one on top of it. Plus two efficiency. All right, okay, so. Move that over there. Move that over there. Put this. Maybe? No. We'll just stick it in the bin of wires. That little EMAC. Poor little EMAC. Oh, come on, just stay put. Go in there. Ah, that EMAC is fine. It's a, he's a real trooper. Okay. Uh, let's go through some bins. I could, the EMAC is on its side because it was bad and it knows exactly what it did and why it had to be like that. Just rearrange the windows here. Naughty Emac, you're naughty. And I take my Emac and I go. <laughs> Alright, that's exactly why the Emac is there, so I don't trip on it. Alright, let's go through this bin. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that has a stand on it too. You just can't see it from that angle. We have a Kensington USB mouse, which is very, very smoky and yellowed. <laughs> I love my little Emac. I love it. You're naughty, little Emac. You're naughty. <laughs> nice. Nice shot. <laughs> oh. I'm very close to the microphone. I need to control the volume of my voice. The volume on my voice. <laughs> Why? What'd you do? Uh, no, it's a tilt and swivel stand. Well, this this poor little yo-yo adapter is actually for an iBook Snow, and I I don't really have that many of them. But you could see the first off, the adapter is broken off. But second off, that is actually for uh, one of the white. 
uh, non clamshell iBooks, but it's a little busted. Maybe I can fix that one these days. Uh, we just we're just moving around, cleaning more stuff. There's a bunch of eight millimeter movie film. Switzerland, Florida, Acapulco. Oh, jeez. All right, this is uh, this is not well. This is not my grandfather's, but my grandfather's relatives. Uh, so I need to label this before I forget what this is. Um, I thought I had labels down here. Well, you know, what? I'll put this on my streaming desk. Then I won't. I won't lose this. And we're back. It is a trip back in time. It's a Wired magazine from 2005 about Star Wars. Alienware, high performance system, starting at thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, th there's a label maker over here, but I don't think that one has any. Um, and I, I want to just write on it with a marker. All right, I need a place for like books and stuff. I'll just put it on top of the G four. There we go. Cartoon classics, limited gold edition. Uh, yes, before Alienware was bought by Dell. Oh, movies. Well, that goes over there. Ah. This is garbage. This can be thrown out. This is a box of floppies. Look at all them floppies. Look at all them floppies. This is going in the trash. No, I'm kidding. It's going with the rest of the discs. $1.99 from GameStop. This is a Nintendo 64 RF adapter that can also work with a Super Nintendo or a regular Nintendo. So there you go. $1.99. Still in the GameStop packaging. Rare! Oh, these are codes for VCR I was writing down. This is when I bought a hard drive at Staples, a four terabyte Western Digital. Doesn't have a date on it though. And I missed the trash can. Yes, I do. I do have... Yeah, sorry, I'm not catching up on the chat. Uh, I do have... Well, I'll just point it out, actually. So, right here... Well, let's let's move the camera. This is a projector that I have modified. The, the desk is a mess, obviously. But that projector has a camera lens on it. So the whole idea is that projects a small image instead of a big one. And that will project an image onto the CCD sensor, the digital sensor or the mirrorless sensor of a camera, like a DSLR. So now that I have my 4K DSLR camera, I can actually project eight millimeter video in higher than high definition, maybe not 4K, but I could project it onto that lens and actually record that film. And it was a pain to set up. I'm not the only one to do it. it you know, there is, look, look at how much space we have now. This is pretty cool, guys. We are making some progress. There is still crap everywhere. But we are making some progress. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, so I do have a, a setup to do that. It is not an easy thing to do, but the results are well worth it. Oh boy, this chair is much more stable than the other one. I don't feel like I'm going to fall down at any moment. And then Trina's going to laugh at me, but she's not here no more. So. 
All right, so we have uh, a Pioneer DVD player remote control. Um, there's a lot of junk in here. This receipt is from Sears. What, what were we buying at Sears? Is this our washing machine? 2011, is that how old it was? No. Oh, this is uh, the mattress. Well. Wow. Actually, might be a good idea to remember how old that thing is. All right, what else? What other junk is in here? An invoice. Ah, oh, this this guy. Ugh. Bad memories. Bad memories. Yeah, in 2014, I had a hard drive die, so I sent it to myharddrivedie.com and uh, paid $50 for them to basically tell me, yeah, you're screwed. Garbage. Ah. And yes, I'm wearing slippers. Oh, all right. This was all mail that somehow made it down here. I could go through some of this crap. There's a lot of junk in here, though. That's why I'm moving it next to the trash. What did I buy at Best Buy? Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Oh, yeah, that was a, a gift for a relative. Trash, trash, trash. The remotes are not junk. What are you talking about? Here's my official driver's license. Heck yeah. That's the cable that goes there. Sorry, I'm just doing this behind uh, the scenes, just sorting out cables and putting them in the bin. Have some uh, very cheapo thermal paste. Another remote control. This is for a Sony camcorder that was my father's. And I bet those batteries are corroded. Oh, yes, they are. We're going to toss those out. Okay, sorry for the, the weird, uh, weird angle. I'll fix that in a second. Oh, I believe you. I'm not looking forward to oh, not. I don't have to move, so. Well, knock wood. <laughs> uh, here's another 256 megs of DDR. Woo! Sonic. Right, that's trash. That's Retractable USB cable. I bought this in Japan. Yep, that is an HP Pavilion. A lot of receipts and garbage. Hey, we got some twist ties. Uh, table things. Yeah, it's a PC. Who else would make an HP pavilion? Garbage. Garbage. Uh, garbage. Aw, garbage. 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 I have a bunch of serial cable adapter doodads. And a USB doodad. So my wallet from Walt Disney World. You can guess how old I was when I had this. I think this was actually my brother's. Well, knowing us, we probably all got a very similar wall. I had to give this to my brother to give to his kids. Not ripped or anything, so. That's a cute wallet. <laughs> a little bit off on the age there. Oh, here's my ITV remote control. In fact, I'm going to put all the remotes and stuff in here. 
so I don't lose them. Where did I put the other ones? Yeah, I lost them already. Sorry, you're getting a crotch shot. That is not my intention. Uh, let's see. How could we... Let's put this more like that. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Next bin to go through. Well, you're still... Jeez. Mm, that's not the direction this channel is going, I assure you. Oh, boy. Okay, so then we have a bag. Bunch of 30-pin uh, iPod cables. Paid $2 for these. They were discounted already. I'm ripping them out of these stupid plastic things. I'm just going to put them in the bin. Uh, they do work. But they're just... Uh, they're pretty long, too. But they're just third-party uh, dock connector cables. So those are good to have. I just don't need the plastic packaging that's going to shred my fingers <laughs> and I have more of them <laughs> I have five of them Jeez. so I mean they were two dollars each how can I say no trashed there's a receipt in here ah uh, yes this is a friend of mine's mag safe adapter that they asked if I could fix it just has a little tape on it really there's there's not too many breaks or bites in the cable see it's just, <laughs> it's just just a just some small fraying you know there's not that much tape on here I mean, see, it's, you bring that to Apple and they'd be like, nah, we'll fix it. Yeah, w rare. Worked when used last, as is. So, I actually do have the cable to replace this. Um, so, I will likely be uh, doing that at one point in time. Uh, not right now, but... Yeah, these aren't the best made... Uh, Cables, I don't care who you are or what you say. Which is a shame because the power plug still works. But you know, if if they made this tip removable, my goodness, would it save a lot of freaking waste wasted uh, adapters to the environment? I'll tell you what. Alright, so now we have an empty bag. Woo! Don't worry, that'll get filled up with crap. I mean, stuff. I mean, totally stuff. Well, I hope they are. All right, let's go through more stuff. This box is falling apart, so let's see what the heck is inside so we can throw everything out. Oh, more power cables. More power cables. More power cables. Hey, Bruce. Oh, I forgot to tweet it out, didn't I? Oops. Oh, I still got like 50-something people watching. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. Surprise. Now go rewind and watch the previous four hours. <laughs> oh, boy. Somebody tweet this out. I forgot. <laughs> so we're cleaning up, Bruce. And, uh, yeah. A lot of cables. Look how pretty I look. <laughs> That's a little disturbing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the idea is to embarrass myself with how messy this basement is. So it forces me to clean it up. So far it's working. Now where'd those darn zip ties go? Uh, I was going to zip these cables. I have the power. Four and a half hours. My goodness. Um, oh, that's where that, that logic board went. Hey, Bruce, remember when I said I couldn't find my Macintosh else, uh, 128 logic board? Found it. Found it. All right, where are those zip ties? Where are they? 
Um. Um. Darn it. I just had the stupid thing. And I gone lost it. I done goofed. It's like a bouquet of flowers. I picked these power cables for you. Oh, here they are. Be a little less creepy now and just wrap them up. A little bit less creepy. Just a little bit. Yeah, was... Yes, we're we're on the boat that is the Firefly. And um just give me a second. <laughs> Sean's eating pie after midnight. Tell his mommy. All right, so that's good. So that when I need one of these, I'm going to undo all of them and then it'll just be all over the basement. There, are you happy to have a leveled camera? All right. All right, what the heck is the rest of this? This looks like a piece of plastic for a G5. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the G5 that I took apart. Oh, here's some uh, 3DO games. We have Mist. We have Dragon's Lair. <laughs> and this gem of a PlayStation game. Mm. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, there is no insulation on the ceiling. This is an unfinished basement. You get what you get. We have a zip drive holder with some discs in here. And some... Oh, we have a new Zip 250. Ho, ho, ho. Fancy. Yeah, a lot of zip disks in here. A hundred megabyte one. We have one out of a case. Please return to all art mechanical di and disks to CCA Industries, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Pretty sure they're out of business, so no thanks. My red zip disk, me keeps. He keeps. <laughs> I put it in wrong. Okay, so those discs will go in there. Oh, we have more, more media. The sealed cassette tape. Uh, oh, here we go. I think this was a bootable uh, Mac OS disc I made years ago. Another zip disk. Ah. Some junk I could throw out. Let me put these discs over here. Uh, where did the thing with the discs go? Where did I put... Oh, that's under... Uh, whatever. We'll put those with the other discs and I'll sort those out. Okay. What's this? We have uh, an envelope where film was in, but there's nothing in there now. So I'll throw that out. And we have another modem. Ah, uh, this is the modem that came with my Performa 400. See, I put a label on it. And this is a Teleport Bronze, which is apparently your horrible modems. So I'm glad I don't have to use it. And this is a, a label for a locksmith floppy. And there's a screw in the bottom of this. Oh, see, this is why I don't throw boxes out without opening the flaps. I had two little LEDs on here. So, I'm going to use those. And the rest of that box is garbage. <laughs> Alright, one box down. Okay. Huh. okay. Oh, is there a date on this? <laughs> I have to scan this in or take a photo of this and tweet this to the Mystery Science Theater guys. Because I did a re this is when the Mystery Science Theater movie, movie came out. Uh, I did a review for School of the Movie. Now here's my book report and I, do, I did the drawings. 
There's Crow Robot. That's how much of a dork I was growing up. Um, this is probably printed on our... This was printed on our Star Rider uh, 2400. Crow! <laughs> that is awesome. Ken would get a kick out of this. He loves Mystery Science Theater as much as I do. Probably more. That's amazing. So I, I think I did a review and then I wrote like an original story. Let's see. I think there's a printed out picture. Yeah, this was like from their website. I remember printing that out. Good old style writer goodness. So I have to do something with that. That's for keepings. That's for keepings. What the heck is this? My goodness. You know what this is? This is absolute crap. This is all stuff that I wrote down for a job I had in 2014. And it gives me so much joy just to rip up these stupid notes about these servers and these failover practices and things that I had to write down that nobody else remembered. And it's now all gone. All going away. Bye-bye. No one's going to have that anymore. Just a little too much pleasure maybe in doing that, but makes me feel good. Ah. I can't even rip through these pages. There we go. Garbage. 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 Ah. Okay. A receipt from FYE. Goodness, when did I shop there last? 2010. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of garbage here. All right, that's garbage. That's garbage. Okay. Piece of foam. No, this could be used for acoustic padding. Garbage. Any chance you could share the link to purchase the t-shirt you were wearing on the Metro Maccast this morning? I would love to, Charles. Let me get my lazy butt up and stand up for a moment. I'll move the camera so everyone sees that I'm paying attention to them. I should really have those listed on my website or something like that. Okay, so I'm putting in the chat the link, but just wait, there's going to be a promo code that I'd be happy to give you guys. One moment, please. If you don't know what that promo code was from uh, the Retro Maccast, which I was on this morning, um, I was on there live, but uh, there is, there is, uh, uh, that will be in a podcast you know, form, so you can listen to that. But uh, the Retro Maccast, excellent podcast, please subscribe to them. And do it on YouTube, too. And let's see. Here's... What promo code did I use? Uh, da, 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 da. We'll use... Uh, uh, let's see. Why isn't that active anymore? Oh, I guess I have to turn that back on. Oh, I can't because it's inactive. Okay. Let me Let me just do this one, then. Uno momento. Alright, so till the end of February, here's a discount code 
for seven dollars off the t-shirts seven dollars the promo code is cleanup how festive there you go sorry that was not um easily findable i had to put that on my website just one of those things i have to get around to doing but if you would like to to uh get one of the shirts that i was wearing earlier today i obviously changed into this shirt to clean up um it says uh you know macintosh and performa and centers and quadra and power book and newton uh just go to that link you'll see there's a bunch of cool stuff there um, no obligation if you want to buy it that's very cool if you don't want to buy it well you don't gotta buy it it's a manual to an old d-link router trash <coughs> excuse me right, let me move these tapes back over here where they should be no worries charles uh, i can't give you much more of a discount on that because otherwise um I, I mean, I, I'm not paying for the shirts to be produced. So I, the discount I give you is, is coming from whatever profit I would make. So that's the, uh, there's a limit of what I could discount you on. Okay. These are all garbage. Well, thank you, Dana. Yes, they, they are. I have to, uh, I have to maybe make another shirt for 2021 or something like that. Yeah, they, they do apparently shrink a little bit, so just be aware of that. I haven't stood over in this area in a long time. Yeah, order one size large. We have another box. Only I would have a, a Sony Trinitron hidden on the floor that I couldn't see. All right, so here is a uh, like a null modem cable, or a modem cable, whatever you want to call it, for a Macintosh. So I'll wrangle that up. Yeah, I actually, actually, what I did was I washed my shirt, but I I let it dry uh, outside, so it wasn't in the dryer, because I I'm always wary of shirts like that. So, I mean, you could do that. Audio splitter, very high quality, I assure you. Well, that was a new in the box phone net adapter. We'll just put that back in here. Modunet. So, has a limited lifetime warranty sticker in there. Original price tag of $39.95. And let's put that on the shelf where it's not gonna just fall off and, and break so easily. There we go. Okay, so point the camera a bit up. There we go. All right, so what else we got in here? We got a notepad. With some guy's name written on it. Don't need that anymore. At least I don't think so. Could always use notepads, so notepads are good. What the heck is this for? It's not SCSI. I think it's a printer parallel thing, maybe for a laptop or something. Because it goes from that to that. It's not SCSI, it's too small to be SCSI. Oh, whatever it is. In the bin it goes. Power cable. Another null modem cable. The smile on the disc. There's a smile on the disc. Where there, there's a what? There's, you point in the direction. <laughs> I'm not taking it out of the bag. It's already in the bin. <laughs> you could you could look at it when you come over, Mike. <laughs> Another serial cable. We got some puck mice. We got some puck mice. Oh, here's a power cable for either a G4 cube or Quicksilver or one of those. I don't think it's IDE. Uh, 
Oh, no worries. Thank you very much for your patronage. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun designing that shirt, so I'm glad. I'm glad others are enjoying it as well. And here's the other type. Now, this is a bit yellowed-ish. Uh, this is a... Uh, for a G4 or a G3, they had these sort of rainbow colors. This is kind of a... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a, a weird sun-stained one. Sundials has external UDE cables. Okay, Luke. Well, then it, it may be that. I'm sorry. I was thinking internal. So it, it It's some PC thing. It's certainly nothing I've ever seen on a Mac before. So, Luke, you are probably absolutely positively correct on that. Okay. Uh, we have an Asante Friendly Net. AAUI adapter. So there's a little, little cute adapter here. Look at that. And I don't know why, but you could disconnect it from both ends if you really wanted to. Oh, I think you're, you're very behind uh, Macintosh librarian. <laughs> you could fast forward if you want. Oh, she's not going to, oh, she's not going to hear me. All right, so we're going to put that over there. Uh, we have more uh, local talk cables. Power cable. Uh, telephone cable. <laughs> it's a pretty long telephone cable. So, yeah, I guess that'll come in handy. <laughs> Oh, here's what I paid for that 3DO uh, mouse. $24.99. You're back to the future. Great Scott. Welcome to the future again, Kate. I was like, what are you talking about? Smiley face on a disc? Hey, Jay, we got some puck mice here, man. Oh, just listen to that. Oh, I love that noise. And this is a video cable for the Clamshell iBook and some of the earlier iBooks. You plug that in and you can get video out to your television. This is not wired like the regular, um, like the regular uh, uh, video out cables. Because Apple did a silly thing and they reversed the poles on the pinout just so you had to buy their stupid cable. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, those, those, are, those are nice to have. And here's a power supply for what? I have no idea. 12 volts, 1 amp. Well, it's for something. Spring cleaning in the winter. Oh, my goodness. And here's my Ethernet crimper. Click, 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 click. Where are your smoke alarms? Well, you can't see them here. There's one over there and there's one over there. But are you the fire marshal? Get off my back. And we have another box that we could toss out. Yay! I burn way too many things. Look, I can walk over here now. There's still crap on the floor, but I can walk over there. All right, so let's pick the camera up here. And let's, uh, let's position it over. I'm just trying to think, figure out what's the best spot for this thing to go, because I have to do I have to go through that? Yeah, I guess I have to go through those containers. All right, so let me... Um, I know I can move! Mike is like, I've been there before. He's not able to move. Something's wrong. Something's very wrong, man. All right, so I'm going to move this. I know what's in here. We'll rest that on top of a CRT for now. Whew, okay. All right, so let's... Oh, did I break that already? Yeah, I broke that. Oh, that looks like I had to resolder that. Ah. Uh, well, here's my other 3DO. <laughs> P 
Panasonic Real 3DO Interactive Multimedia or Media Player or whatever. So uh, this, well, I have two of them. One works and one doesn't. Um, I think it's the laser that's kind of messed up in them. Uh, nothing broke. It's just the weird noises that the chair I'm sitting on probably makes. Uh, this is full of wires. Or something. I don't know. I know. It is, a lot of people have been watching for a while. So, yay! Thank you for watching. We have a phaser. I'm sorry. A Starfighter Light Blaster. For the Sega Dreamcast. It would be useful for all the CRT games I, uh, I can play. Yes, there was a Super Nintendo back there. It does work. In fact, in that bin is the... Uh, oh, you know what? I should have organized that. But uh, uh, I, have, I found the video cable and the power cable. I should put that in the Nintendo bin rather than just in the regular bin. I think this is my grandfather's old Super 8 uh, movie camera. So this is, this was potentially his. I'm not entirely sure. This could have been somebody else's. But uh, battery check. I don't think there's any film in here. There better not be. Hmm. Very cool anyway. <laughs> you are not getting my pucks. I know you hoard them already. This is my hoard, not yours. Thank you very much, Jay. I appreciate the super chat. Eep! Thank you very, very much. Any, every time somebody uh, gives me a super chat, they get an eep. That's just how it works. This is... Oh, I remember buying this because it looks so funky. Look at this. Look at this little camcorder. Look how funky it is. Hello, Jacob. We have, uh, this is a Panasonic Palm Quarter, which is a ridiculous name and I love it. I'm trying to take this sticker off here. Um, color Viewfinder. Oh, this is chunky. Oh, this, that's why I bought this. There's a videotape in here. This, this is a videotape in here. And I want to see what's on that tape. That's why I bought this. <laughs> No one's getting the puck mice, but I appreciate the super chats. Thank you very much, Mike. Eep! Thank you very much for for the super chat. You want to hear sea shanties you do? Well, no, we're, <laughs> that, would, that would just rip through my vocal cords. <laughs> I tell you a tale about a Macintosh Plus. Yeah, that would that would not <laughs> work out too well. <coughs> See, I'm dying or dying already. She only had four megs of RAM. She wished she could have more. Yeah. All right, let me get my water over here. Well, that's what Dana was paying me for. He was paying me to sing. And then someone said I should do sea shanties. So, apparently they're a thing these days. All the all the hip kids are doing them. <laughs> oh, boy. Eep, eep, eep. It's like when you held down the key on the keyboard. She wanted sea shanties and she'll get them by gully. You wanted singing. Okay. Um, I had a Macintosh and it died. Eep. <laughs> and now we watch everybody unsubscribe from the channel. <laughs> it does, Mike. Sing the Halo theme song. Oh. However that goes. Yeah, so I paid a whole $10 for this camcorder back in 2016. And, yeah. That's where it's it's been all this time. In that bin. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These are slides. I hope these aren't all moldy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are these are my grandfather's. So my grandfather took these slides. Oh yeah, some of them are all screwed up. Darn it. 
I mean, that's a problem. You get uh, some of this stuff. I did, it was in a moldy basement before I got to them. Oh, that's my mom. Wow. I mean, some of these might be salvageable. Yeah, some of them might be salvageable. Oop, as I drop it. Alright, so this was all uh, camera stuff. Yeah, that's why they're in this bin, so... I do have that slide scanner. Well, that's, that's why... So, as part of this room, when it's all cleaned up, there will be a desk set up just with the scanners. And... Uh, because they, there's, these are more slides here. Yeah, unfortunately, the house that these were kept in before mine were all destroyed. Were all was all yucky. Uh, California, 1970. No, it's empty. All right, well that's one less one to do. This one's empty. Oh, this has like a handful in them. These are all like scenic. And you can only see the color red. Yeah, a lot of these are just scenic. So you would, you back in the day, you would actually buy, you would buy like souvenir slides of like someone else's photos and stuff. So some of these might be them, but some of them are not. Yes, yeah, so this this is mainly stuff that I know of. There is some stuff in the bottom here, like this HP PS2 keyboard. Which I guess can go back in the bin, but let me wrap up this cable at least. Audio cable can go there. Oh, snap. Uh, no, no, no. Don't break on me. Uh, that's why this was in a bag. Uh, this is very brittle plastic, but this is a newer technology SCSI dock for a PowerBook Duo. Um, but one of the little metal things snapped off. I think two of them, actually. Yeah, I mean, th this was beat up when I got it. It'll still work. It just won't won't snap in there. So I'm I'm gonna put this with the duo dock. Yeah, that'll be nice to get a uh, a mock-up of that. Give me a 3D scanner and I'll do it. All right, some more composite video cables, AV cables. Still 50 people watching. Hello, each and every one of you. Thank you very much for watching. I assume you're enjoying this, otherwise you wouldn't be here, but thank you. I, mean, geez, I don't even know how long we've been going here. How long have we been going? This, it's almost 10.30. Be going for five hours. Holy smokes. That is a lot longer than I suspected. I'm gonna stand up for a second. Um, YouTube says four hours and 58 minutes. I'm actually going to tweet this out because I forgot to tweet this out. Okay, there we go. And while I'm standing up, uh, I can make sure that the video description is... Why do they keep doing... Why is the, the thumbnail... Every time I go to change the thumbnail, it doesn't take. I hit save, and I go to edit, and the old thumbnail... Oh, now it's there. All right, well, today we're cleaning up. All 
Alright, so that should work now. Alright, I tweeted that out. I should have tweeted that out four hours ago, but... Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, it's like the, se the, the third or fourth time I've saved that thumbnail. It's getting quite annoying. All right, anyway, you can't see my head. This is very awkward, but let me move the camera a little bit. I thought I heard Mr. Krabs! I was doing sea shanties before, now I'm doing Mr. Krabs. I mean, this is just a bit silly, isn't it? Where can I, where can I put the camera? I'm holding the camera. Um, all my thumbnails are fake news. What are you talking about, Jay? We're going to recap this back! And I'm, like, playing with a VCR. It's been a very Spongebob heavy theme. Heavy stream. See, I, I can get the accent down, but I can't get the words down. And then it, then it just throws everybody off. Like, why is he talking like a madman? Why isn't he? Send the camera into the void. Everything, every time I, I think I got this bendable tripod right, it just moves in a direction I don't expect. There we go. That's kind of... Like it, you see the edge of the computer there. You joined very late. No worries, Rob. Let's. I. All right, we're still cleaning up here. So. All right. So there's some slides I have to uh, digitize there. Uh, I will put these cameras back in here, where they belong. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I could put into this box. That would be appropriate to put in there. Only you just rewind for five hours and catch up. You'll be good. Well, this is a Game Gear case with a bunch of Game Gear games in it. We got Primal Rage. We got World Series Baseball. We got The Lion King. We got Sonic Triple Trouble. Tails Adventure. Uh, Sonic Drift 2. Hello, hello. Return of the Jedi. I'm sorry, Super Return of the Jedi. Uh, Super Monaco GP2. Super Off-Road. Woody Pop. Sonic Spinball. Ms. Pac-Man. Sonic Chaos. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Beam Machine. And True Lies. I use Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I am approving True Lies for the sake of Game Gear. <laughs> See, that was the one time it was appropriate to do it. Who would, who would make a video game out of True Lies? <laughs> oh, gosh. Corrupted startup chime. That's not a good sign. Five hours and nothing. Got another bin here. Ooh, we got some goodies in here. It's a mouse for a Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo is over there. Let me rewrap this cable a little bit. Hey, Mike, I found my Logitech remote. This is a Harmony 880. making good progress. I know it doesn't look like I am, but I, I really am. All right, so that actually should go in the video game bin. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Oh! This is the foot to the tray table I have over there. Yes. Yes. Or use zip ties. Uh, Yes, I did take photos before I got started. This is actually a good HDMI cable. I was using this for my projector business not too long ago. <laughs> good one, Derek. These little noise production things make tying up these cables. Get to the chopper! They make tying up these a little annoying. Uh, this one stays out though. That's not going anywhere. 
Salam Moon. Uh. Got a uh, Toslink audio cable. Uh, remember that uh, the guy with the Firewire hub that I talked about? Well, here's the Western Digital hard drive power adapter with Velcro on it. That is my wife's VHS tape from when she was a kid. Arcade points, 17,000. Hey, wanna wanga. Hey, wanna wago. Right. Galaxy Skywatch. Oh, here's the rest of our Super Paint discs. Well, some of them. Super Paint Disc 1, Disc 3, Disc 11, and Disc 12. Keep circulating the tapes. I have the rest of these discs somewhere, I'm sure. Where? I don't know, but... Installation squeegee. Okay. Seagate 5 terabyte hard drive. What the heck that is doing in this bin? I don't know, but that's going to be moved right now. I have a at least four or eight boxes somewhere around then there of VHS tapes that somebody gave me for free. This was years ago before I had a space problem. Um, and they were all, it's all stuff, concerts, uh, pay-per-view stuff, uh, weird events, uh, uh, MTV, all this stuff just recorded on VHS. And I, I still have them, but I'm looking for somebody who will archive them. Yes, I could do it, but I don't have that much free time. And it's a lot of tapes, so that's a, a project of mine I'm trying to eventually get around to. All right, so this bin is all cables and stuff. This will be another cable bin. So put that over there. Nah, I'm, that would that would be a very bad idea for copyright reasons. <laughs> oh boy! Welcome back. All right, let's take this. This is a sealed teleport bronze modem. We are putting that in this bin because we're not using that anytime soon. So that bin is closed. I can now lift these up and put this on top of that bin. And now we're opening up this one with the pink lid. Oh, this is more film stuff, isn't it? Oh, oh, I can smell the vinegar. And that's a very bad sign. Oh, these, oh, oh, boy. Vacation 1942. Now, these are not my films. Um, I really don't think they are. These, I believe, are from a thrift store. Oh, gosh. Now, I'm very curious to see what's on them. Some of these are 16 millimeter. That is, that is clear as day. There's some little kid, you know, that's just, well, if, all right. So if you Google vinegar syndrome and film, you'll understand why they smell like vinegar. Because as film degrades, you get that lovely smell. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 16 millimeter reels and then we have four eight millimeter reels <laughs> we have some uh, Disney ones here I remember this. 
I asked for this for Christmas years and years ago. Long time ago. And when I finally got it, it was cool. But uh, who could guess what this is? Who could guess what this is? This is a very interesting adapter. You plug it into an Xbox, an Xbox original Xbox, and you could use a keyboard and a mouse. So you could use this for games like Halo. You could use a keyboard and a mouse. I always wanted one of these, and I, I finally got it one of these Christmases, and I, I used it to a good extent. Um, I'm going to put this with the video game stuff. But uh, I have no idea how you configure the keys. <laughs> I have no idea. I think it pretty much just worked. Like, they they probably pre-configured them or whatever. But, uh, yeah, this is going in the uh, organizi organizational area where the video game stuff goes. Okay. What else is in here? Hello, Dale. Welcome to the... Kind of weird live chat we got going on here. Alright, so this is an AC adapter for a Nintendo DS. I think it's a DS Lite. Or a DSi. One of those uh, systems. So I'm going to put that with the Nintendo stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do my own film backup except for 16mm. Not yet. I will be able to eventually, but not yet. Oh, this is, this is a shame. This is a little corroded. Oh, that'll clean up. This is an ADB extension cable. How about that? Well, it's either it's either for a DSi or a DS Lite. It's one, one of those. I, I get them confused. Yeah, this could be resting in vinegar or something to get all that, that rust out. Oh, I have a stack of Xboxes. I don't know what to do with the darn things. I really don't. <laughs> I'm talking to you, my lovely audience. was in here. Oh, uh, I'm going to take a picture of this. I'm going to throw it out. I uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know where you're located in the world. The shipping may not make it worth it there, dude, but uh you send me an email, mac84tv at gmail.com. I don't know if they work. I honestly don't know. They probably have bad optical drives. The story behind them was this. They were at, I was at a video game store. There was a stack of two Xboxes here, and I took them. And the guy said they were either modded or broken or they were untested. So, not sure if it's worth it, but. <laughs> Thanks, Michael, I, I guess. Uh, here's another Nintendo adapter. Again, don't know exactly which uh, handheld it's for, but uh, he's pretty busy. He has his own stuff to do. I don't think he really has projectors. Um, my father has a 16 millimeter projector. We just get get it set up one of these days, um, and I'll have it set up just like my 8 millimeter Teleson, and I'll be able to uh, to digitize that. But. Um, I, I don't want to bug anybody else with, with my burden. <laughs> a lot of a lot of cables in this one. These cables are kind of annoying. They're so thick. It's just like, this. Uh, yeah. My my father was a well is a uh, projection movie enthusiast and all that stuff. So he had a lot of this stuff. Central Florida. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, send me an email. Or a DM on Twitter or whatever you want. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 again, I can't guarantee the system even works or anything like that. 
Uh, I don't even know where they are at the moment, but now here's a GameCube power adapter. Always, always handy. Okay, sweet. Yep, I'll, I'll, uh, don't, don't be surprised if I don't respond tonight, but feel free to remind me. This is a cable I got in 2016. Still has the thrift store sticker on it, which I'm throwing out now. But this is, you know, a, a mini uh, headphone jack style adapter to a RCA video type thing. Uh, I don't have my own Discord yet. I am making my own Discord. Uh, it is not ready to launch yet. I need some moderators and stuff like that. So I am not all set up with that yet. I am currently on the Mac Yak Discord, which is a very, very nice Discord. Nothing against it. I will be doing my own at one point. I keep getting requests for it. Uh, and I know it's something that's really popular and really cool. I just want to make sure I'm set up. The server's already created, but it's private right now. So uh, I got to uh, got to figure that out. But in due time. Promise. In due time. Okay. Oh, that vinegar is making my head spin. All right, so we're going to go through a, th a few more bins here. Then I think I'll call it a night because uh, this has been a lot of cleaning. Here's another HDMI cable. A spool of twist ties from the Ama Azan. Was this, was this ripped through? Which bunny bit through this cable? It probably still works. <laughs> it's just the ground. An old Mac equipment in PA, even some laser writer twos. Uh, William, if you want to send me an email, mac84tv at gmail.com mac84tv at gmail.com William I will put it in the chat as well send me an email I will direct you if I'm not interested I will uh, direct you to somebody who may be interested uh, I don't know if it's you're selling it or uh, but I would certainly be interested in seeing what you got and if uh, I cannot use it William I will be sure to put you in touch with a group of individuals that can so I hope that would be helpful. So again, William, mac84tv at gmail.com. I also put my email there in the chat. If you want to send me an email or a Twitter message, mac84tv is my handle. All right, so that was a toss link cable. This is uh, electric cable. <laughs> this is like for a fuse box, a uh, circuit breaker box rather. Um, a little bent, but still good. I should probably organize this in a way that it's not a freaking mess. Ah. Very stiff cable here. It's see, it just really retains its safe. Yeah, well, I'm probably not going to use this to be honest. I'll probably use it like for stripping or testing some other junk or something like that. Uh, if I really need to do an electrical job, I'll probably buy a brand new cable. So envelope, garbage. Garbage. Oh, sweet. Yeah, William, I would definitely be interested, especially in some of the SideQuest stuff and some of the Macs. So, uh, yeah, please uh, please forward that along. I would greatly appreciate that. Again, even if uh, I can't use the particular machines, I happen to know a bunch of people just like me. So, that would be very cool. 
And we have a cut cable uh, with duct tape on it. That's going in the trash. All right, so this stuff can actually be consolidated into uh, the other bins. Let me do that. Do I have a favorite Macintosh clone? Um, let me think on that. That's a very good question. Um, oh, boy. That's a toughie. Now, I only have three Macintosh clones. I have a Umax and I have a power computer. Um, but if I had to pick one that I don't have, it would probably be one of the, the uh, Daystar ones with the multiprocessors that are stupid expensive. Um, so that that is um, that would be a, an awesome find one of these days, but I'm not holding my breath. However, um, I do, if you go to mac84.net slash web, there is a FAQ section, or I think it's even in the, in the uh, video description. Excuse me. Um, there is a list of my favorite Macs. And yes, the Key Lime iBook is one of my favorites. That is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, that power book is really cool. That is definitely a neat one. Oh, look at that. We emptied this whole bin. I'm also quite partial to the G3 mini tower. That's a, a favorite machine of mine. Ugh. Old mail can get tossed in the trash. Okay. Oh, that's cool, Solar Strike. That is very cool. All right, so I could, I could stand all the way over here now. Got a lot of bins in the way, though, but that's okay. We're making progress. It's going to take some time. It's an empty bag. This could go... Where did I put the other one? It could go upstairs. These are shopping bags. Don't ask me how they got down here. I have no idea. I have no idea. And I know I'm headless most of the time in this stream. Sorry about that. So we currently have 53 people watching. My goodness. Uh, probably going to go on for um, a little bit longer. Not too much longer. I do have work in the morning. Ugh. I would like to relax a little bit before uh, going back to work. <sighs> Let's just see what other garbage I could just toss out immediately. Garbage. Where did I put those? Oh, there's the films. All right. Those, so those, those have to stay. Here. The Swiss Colony, Monroe, Wisconsin. Fragile, perishable. That is old box. <laughs> There's some poor guy's address on there, but. This was where the films were in. Box is being tossed out. Okay. No, there's no food down here. I'd say an 040. I mean, the 030s with an upgrade card. I mean, I mean, they're cool and everything, but just give me a standard 040 one. That, that's cool in my book. Okay. I'm kind of amazed with the amount of space. See, once I have these shelves and all these bins could go on the shelves and they'll be easily accessible and yay. Um, but yeah, I could walk in this area without tripping on stuff. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so these bags go upstairs. Bring those upstairs when I go upstairs. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? And that, that stuff is mostly big stuff I have to pick up. I know what's in that container. Uh, let's do this, let's do. 
this box of random cables here. Might as well start this bin of cables because it's going to end up anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I have, I have a, a 5200 machine. And so we got some cables. Uh, I had to untangle all these. Getting a wee bit tired to start untangling cables again. Oh yes, I do collect Mag Addict. I've had the magazine subscription since I was a kid. Uh, earlier in the stream, a few hours ago, uh, I had some Mac Addict discs and um, I was cleaning out some Mac Addict magazines. Where did I put those? Oh, those are in one of the bins over there. Yeah, so. Hello, Ed Retrotech. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I've been uh, busy. I haven't said hello to everybody, but hello, everybody. Who's ever joined? Hello. Especially uh, Fizzbin, William, uh, Ed Retrotech, etc. <laughs> okay, so we got more cables to go through here. And I'm getting a bit tired again, so we'll probably go maybe for another half hour and then I'll call it quits. Uh, this is for an HP printer of some kind with the shortest figure eight power cable I've ever seen. Yeah, David did some excellent, uh, excellent uh, articles in that magazine, and he did some great books too. I have a lot of uh, the 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 Mac books he's written. All right, so that's an HP cable. These are speakers. I'm gonna put those together there. Power cable. One of those universal video game cables I thought would never be interesting, but yep, they are nice now. Um, I do have a few DOS cards slash PC cards for the Mac. I have one for the Centris slash Quadra 600 series, and I have uh, 166 megahertz one for my Power Macintosh. Alright, this is a very interesting cable. I only have like one or two of these in my collection. Now what this allows you to do is plug into a device like a stereo or a DVD player or whatever. And then you plug that into something else, but look at the plug. You can plug something in and then have a pass through. So it's kind of like a built in splitter pass through thingy. It's really cool. I have I the one DOS card I have, I have the one cable for it. So, yep. Uh, where'd my twist ties go? Uh, there they are. Yes, I have the, the one cable for the dust card. And the PC card. So all the uh, cards I have, have their cables. No, I won't lose it. Although I did help somebody make the pin out for the DOS cable. I shipped them the cable. And then they made their own and they shipped it back. It was very kind of them. Uh, yes, I need to do the same for the PDS card for the... the, the Apple IIe. I bought all the connectors and stuff for it. I just have not got around to making that, that cable yet. But, uh, yeah. Yep, on the, uh, that's very, that very, uh, sharp eye solo strike. The, um, uh, Litecon guns for the video game consoles use a very similar pass-through adapter for the video signal. No, you cannot put the DOS card and the 2E card in the same machine together because the there's only one PDS slot. That stands for Processor Direct Slot. There's only one of those slots. This is a very, very cheap power adapter for a Sega Genesis slash Super Nintendo. I don't even know if it works anymore, but... I mean, they did, the, any any machine that has a PDS card slot will likely not have a PCI card slot. I, I'm not saying they didn't exist. I'm just saying it, it, it's slim. 
Because I, I think some of like the Performa 6400s technically had a PDS slot. Or whatever they called it. Communication slot, a, a LC slot, a cache slot or something. I don't know if it would... Uh, I don't think it's the right type of that one. Okay, so this is an interesting little uh, thing. As I wrap this up and go. So this is a little switch box. And it has an America Online logo. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Micromac did have something, but I thought it did new bus slots, not PDS slots, if I'm not mistaken. There is an advertisement of that fizz that I had to find, but... Yeah, this is an interesting, um, it's one of those power strip things. So you have the cables in the back, but also has a USB hub. Ah. So that's a handy little thing. Uh, you know, you sit a monitor on top of it, you control the power. It's kind of neat. <sighs> yes, I have the 4400 computer, but not the DOS card that, uh, all right, here's a PNY graphics card. <laughs> now Mike is getting flashbacks. It's like, throw it away! Throw it away! Yeah, that AOL logo is probably the reason it was at the Aldi's I bought it at. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Got a pencil sharpener. Those are always handy. Yeah, I think I think there were a few more DOS cards that they may have had uh, options for. There were certainly add-ons by Orange Micro and Apple and so on. Oh, nice. Let me just dump out this. Oh, boy. This is caked to the top. With pencil shavings. Look at this. Look at this pencil sharpener. This is the drawer. And look look how much pencil dust is in there. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I had to show you that before I tossed it out. Oh gosh. It came out. It came out in like one big cube. It was so compressed. And there's tons still left in the machine. Whoever had this before I did, I don't think they ever cleaned that out. My goodness. Yeah, but it still works, so it's a good thing to hang on to. <laughs> Betting for the bunnies. They'll be like, what the heck is this? All right. Speaking of bunnies, here's a letter I got from the House Rabbit Society. Okay, this is... Oh, here we go. Some PowerMac G5 installation discs. Uh, no, not really, Matthew. Sorry if I missed that in the chat before. I, I really never... Uh, I don't think I have a mind for that sort of stuff. I, I Trust me, I've tried. I just... I don't think I have much programming ability in me. I could figure out simple things. But that's about it. Here's an Apple serial cable. And we have two PC video cards, what it looks like. A WinFast A6200 128 megabyte. Whatever the heck that is. What OS are those? It's a very good question. Where did I put those? Where did I just I just had them. Here they are. Uh, that is Panther 10.3.7. I'm going to put those with the discs there so I don't lose them. That is Panther 10.3.7. And uh, so, okay, that was a WinFast card. And this is a GeForce NVIDIA something. I hate how they don't just say the darn card name on it. That would be too useful. I got a zip disc. Uh, 
I, I can't say I have. I mean, really. I maybe played around with compiling something that was already built. But I've never, like, built something from scratch or anything like that. So, click, 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 click. Let's not have any clicking tonight, please. All right, so now there's a bunch of crap on the floor that I have to clean up. Ugh. Here's a PS2 extension cord. Ding! I keep hitting the chair, sorry. Alright, so we're gonna wrap up fairly soon, because it's getting late, and I want to sort of unwind before I have to go to work tomorrow. But, uh... My gosh, we still have 50 people watching. It's a good day to do a live stream, I guess. I mean, my goodness. Unless YouTube's lying to me and there's only like 10 of you here. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to work, but I, I kind of do. So. <laughs> I'm the genuine viewer, I promise. All right, so I'm going to move this laptop just a little bit. I'm going to move this camera. Okay, so let's see where we can put this camera. Ah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is getting a little silly. No, cable doesn't reach that way. Um, well, here I can show you. This is what we worked on so far. So there is there is a lot of floor here now, and those bins are things we filled up. So it looks worse than it is. And behind that, there's a big trash bin. That's how much trash we have so far. So we've been busy. We've been busy. So. Yeah, this is this has been all the this is the bin of wires. So that has that is all the wires we've been through today. So that is good. Um, there's a G3 tower, and under that was the other bin of what was in there? Of books and stuff like that. So there we go. So we are making progress. We are making progress, and uh, yeah, there's a lot more to go. There's a ton more to go. And yes, it is a hopscotch thing painted on the uh, on the bottom. Yeah, those are uh, those are. And there go a bunch of screws. Um, those are 6100s or Performer 6100s or no, the top one's a 6100 and the bottom one's a 610. I have a 660 motherboard somewhere, but don't ask me where it is. I don't know. Ah! Bar and party guide. Yes, I think that's from the 60s. Oh boy and there goes the camera see all these little screws from a macbook that i've been keeping in a little cup well that cup just fell over so oh, this crummy pavilion you stay there oh, this lousy screw cup ow That is a very flattering view. I apologize. A bunch of paper clips too. Hey Mike, you said you needed paper clips. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, haha, ha, he broke the thing. I'm not gonna make that mistake. I tell you what. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of like. 
kind of getting tired. So I'm going to wrap this up soon. Um, I'm just thinking of a good place to put the camera. Adjust this a little bit. Okay. Eh. Okay. Yeah, the optiplexes aren't bad. They're, the ones I've used were pretty decent. All right, so you can see me a bit better now. Yeah, this basement is kind of big and kind of messy. So. All this stuff is garbage. But all, the, all from here to here, I could walk again. And I just stepped on something. Garbage. All right, so I think I'm gonna clean up these wires that are on the ground here, and we may call it quits, but. Any questions or anything, let's keep chatting while we do. And here's the bundle of cables. This is the, the bag of cables I did a YouTube video about. And uh, yeah, they, um, the bag ripped. That bag is now garbage. If only, Bruce, if only. You just clean up this garbage and I will I will respond to your chats. Okay, so what's on top of the white drawers? That's an HP ScanJet ADF. If anybody wants that and they are willing to either pay shipping or pick it up, it is yours. And no, I do not own a 20th anniversary Mac. Um, what led you to start doing videos? I don't know. I always uh, kind of just like liked um, learning about things. And uh, since I have a large... <laughs> Sorry, since I have a large obsession with computers, particularly Macs, I thought, you know what, I could do videos about them. Especially because some of the early videos that I used to watch were very, very incorrect. They talked about things that weren't confirmed and this and that kind of was like, eh, that's not really a good video. So, how many iDevices do you have? What's your daily driver iPhone? I have an iPhone 8 and I have like an iPad mini, uh, an iPad 4 an iPad mini 2, an iPad 4, and the original iPad. So I, I'm in desperate need of a newer iPad, um, and I need a newer phone, and I need a newer computer. I need a lot of things. I've been putting off purchases for a long time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in sort of need with another, with more uh, newer devices. That's the word. So... Let me just throw out these pieces of garbage right here. Well, that trash bag is nearly full, so I call that successful so far. Yeah, I mean, I've had my iPhone 6, uh, iPhone 7, rather. I upgraded from a 6 to an 8. And, uh, yeah. So, let's move the camera up a little bit. Yay! 
So this is where the streaming desk is. I don't know if you guys can still hear me, but whenever I would stream, I would stream from this desk. And now I could freely walk over here. There was plenty of room on the floor, which is excellent. Yeah, I mean, the problem with my iPhone 8 is it constantly likes to freeze and lag. And I know it's probably a software thing. I probably have to do like a restore on it or something. But it's just one of those things that I just have to, I just have to bite the bullet on eventually. But yes, uh, shuffleboard. Sorry, not hopscotch. Whatever I said before. I've, I've been streaming for what? How long? Almost six hours? Yeah, that's... My brain ain't all there right now. But, yeah. That's the latest iOS, whatever they forced me to upgrade to. But... Yeah, good eye. Yeah, there are two X serves on top of the refrigerator. Um, they live there. Yes, I have a Quick Take 150 and a Quick Take 200. They work out... Uh, they're, they're fun to play with. What classic Mac is the number one in your wish? Well, you know, I don't, I don't really have that big of a wish list anymore because I have a lot of the machines. Uh, the one that I wanted to get previously was uh, an Image Writer LQ, and I, I got that fairly recently, which was nice. Um, I wouldn't say no if somebody gave me or handed me a Macintosh Portable or a 20th anniversary Macintosh at a good price, um, but... I'm, I'm not really actively looking for one. If one falls on my lap, I'll take it. Of course, yes, Bruce, a working Quadra 840 AV. Thank you for just digging that dagger deeper. Um, I was looking for the longest time for a G3 all-in-one, and I have that, so I'm very thankful for that. A PowerBook 100 would have been cool. Uh, would be cool. I don't really have the need for one, but if I ever have one. I have a 9600 and a 9650 workgroup server, so... Um, you know, those, those machines I have covered. So I, there's, I have an SE30 that I'm trying to fix up, so that's there. But, um, yeah, not, not really too much. I mean, look, there's there's some things I'd love to find, but uh, uh, a Quadra 700 I do not have, so that would be neat. That would be really cool, Apple's Anonymous. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to work out a trade if I get one working or fix yours or whatever. I'm not really, look, an Apple Network server would be really fun to have. I just don't have a plan for using it. And Dana has them, so I don't need, I don't need to have them if Dana has them. He has, he has two of those pretty, pretty things, so. <laughs> so he's, he better do some stuff on those videos. Uh, da, 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 my trying to handle the cracks in the G3 all-in-one. Uh, yeah, the, the cracks are only on the top of the G3 all-in-one, and... I'm not really going to bother with it. There, It's a little yellowed and it's a little cracked. If I don't touch it, it'll be fine. And I don't have to access or, ma or maintain the machine right now. Well, that's the other thing. Alisa would be cool. I have an Apple III and have, I have a 2GS. I have a 2E. Alisa would be cool to play around with, but I don't, I don't necessarily need one. I probably wouldn't have any idea what to do with it. It would probably be sitting right next to the Apple III collecting dust. So, yeah, that's just the reality of the thing. Yeah, Nick, just buy buy uh, a long one. You have to buy a really special long one. Uh, I don't need an Apple Pippin. I'm going to go to my friend Brian's and play around with his and get that out of my system. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so there's there's um, there's a lot more room here than there was before, which is fantastic. I mean, I can walk over here. I can walk over here. I can walk over here. Like, this is great. So I'm going to keep at this. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have a list. I'm, I'm working on updating my list. Part of that is cleaning up. But let's let's go for another 11 minutes. We'll break that six-hour mark just for the heck of it. And then I'll sign off here. But, um, yeah, any other questions you guys have? You got you guys. <laughs> any other questions you, you guys have? I'd be happy to answer. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything other than make me look a little weird. I installed this light before I installed this big shop lamp here. So, there's a big shop lamp above me. So, this little dinky light doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's good for when I, I couldn't reach this. <laughs> but, hey, now I can walk around here. This is fantastic. Um, this should go in there. Ah. There 
There we go. So that shouldn't hang as much now. The mouse won't move, it always it only clicks. Do you have another mouse? Try the other mouse. Try another mouse. Maybe maybe it's just a bad mouse. It could also be that the rollers inside the mouse are all bad. <sighs> yeah, I've heard about some of those things about rebonding the plastics. That might be something interesting to try out. I don't know when the next stream will be. See, the thing is, I, I usually decide to do a stream like 30 minutes before I do it. Um, it usually depends on like what I'm working on. If um, I have any other plans, this light bulb is broken. Um, if you know I'm I'm cooking dinner or something like that, so uh, that is that is it's usually a bit up in the air. But um, I need to continue cleaning this. Uh, this uh, so before I was talking about where I wanted to build um, a room, and this is the room. This is the area where I would be putting a wall. So I'm going to, I'm going to, this is sort of where I am now, but let me walk over here. So where I am standing now would be where the wall would be. So the, we have these, these poles right here. So the wall would be right, right here where I'm standing. And then I'd have all this room here. And where the laptop is here would be shelves. And then my streaming desk would move from there to here. So. Part one is cleaning up, throwing out garbage. We have a whole garbage pail full, and I didn't really throw out that much today. Um, but we're just going to keep on cleaning, keep on organizing. Uh, that desk is a mess. I know there's a bunch of stuff I have to get off of that. Uh, there's a bunch of towers under here. There's there's a G5. There's a Mac Pro. There's two G4s. There's a, another G4. There's a, a Dell tower over there somewhere. Um, What's my most favorite thing you can show us that you haven't seen? Well, you've seen a lot of my stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll show you something silly. Some of you may remember this weird lamp. <laughs> so, no, I'm going to do the wall myself. It shouldn't be too hard. So this is a lamp I bought. It was already broken on the back. This is a lamp I bought. It did not have this, this, this frame around it. But it's basically trying to be a computer. Okay? And so what I decided to do, since it was beat up a bit, I put an LCD in there. So there's a little television LCD screen in there. And... Coming out the back is a composite jack. And so you could actually, you know, put an image on here, which it's stupid. It's hideous, but I freaking love it. <laughs> uh, so I will have to find a spot for this once I uh, make the room. This will be a funny thing to have on in the background. The lamp does work. Uh, I installed the LCD in there. It works fine. I just have to... Uh, to fix it up a little bit, paint it. Yeah, Dana, I have to paint it a little bit. But, uh, yeah. So this, yes, this needs to be on the background. Now, the LCD isn't the best, so when the logo's on there, it gets all washed out. But trust me, I thought of that. But yeah, that's that's something I'm working on. That's a fun little thing. So, um, yeah. No, I'm not going to burn it. <laughs> Actually, I had a few people reach out to me like, if you ever want to get rid of it, uh, let me know, because I want it. It's a lot of lights. That awesome. Leg lamp for nerds. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 52 people watching also. My goodness. My goodness. All right, where's my... I keep... I'm sorry, I'm on a laptop screen here. I'm used to having, like, the multiple screens, but... I know, the lamp... So, the lamp was originally, like, $100 or something like that at this, uh, this antique junk store type thing. Um, and... I think I went in there and they, they wanted like $40 for it. And then I was able to get some, I was, I got it for lower than that or whatever it was. But I, I thought I'm going to do something with this, but I, I just went very carefully. I had a drill, so I drilled in holes and then I used a, a cutter and I just cut the screen out and I just went very slowly. I'm surprised as you are that it didn't break. I did film a video of how I did that, but I didn't, I didn't put that video together, but I have all the clips, so maybe I could do that. That would be a fun thing to do. Um, but right now I'm just cleaning up this area, but let's let's show you what the floor looks like. So you can see, 
There's an actual floor here. And we have uh, a lot more room than we did before. So there's still a lot of bins on the ground. Um, we have some G4s there. We have that pavilion there. There's that Sony Trinitron that's sitting down there. Uh, we have the EMAC, of course, that's kind of sad. Uh, we have uh, some stuff on the shelves here. You can actually see some stuff now. So that's a monochrome Apple 13-inch monitor. Uh, we have some power books and some MacBooks there. Uh, this is a Macintosh SE, I believe. Uh, we have two dual docks over here. Uh, there's iMac G4. There's one cube, another iMac G4. There's another cube over there. That's a Performa 6400 behind there. This foam is filled with boards and stuff like that. Uh, there's an Apple adjustable keyboard up here. I have to go through and clean up all this stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that's just... That's just it, it is not just thrown there. It's put there for a specific reason, believe it or not. Uh, so that's the case for the 610 machine over there. It says no hoard! And, uh, and uh, this is the duo disc and everything. So everything is sort of shoved on this shelf so I can move all this stuff around. So as I make space for things, things will be moved around. Uh, and there's some iMac G3s hidden on the bottom of here along with, uh, let's see what else is in there. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, so we have, uh, we have a Quicksilver hiding back there and there's a G3 uh, blue and white that is there. So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, that's why I'm bringing the two shelves that are in the garage and I will be moving them down here. So I'm going to have three of those here. I'll be able to spread everything out, hopefully. And then I'm building new shelves in the garage because the, the clearance is much taller. So, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. I'm not, I'm not saying there's not a lot of work, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that is an Apple adjustable keyboard. It's, yeah, it's the weird one that fans out sort of something. What power PC machine do I use the most? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, thank you. They appreciate the pets. Ugh. I have to give one of them medicine right now. Well, in a little bit, but they hate that. But yeah. So how much time we got left here? I got about three, four minutes. We'll go for, and then we'll wrap it up. But any more questions? Let me know. So a beaver plushie on the shelf earlier. I'm curious where you got it from. Whoa, where's the, where's the beaver? Oh, that's, that's not a beaver. He's a guinea pig. So, you may remember, back in the early 2000s, they had a Blockbuster commercial with a guinea pig and a rabbit. Well, I got these for Christmas from my brother or somebody. Uh, and there's a little guinea pig and there was a rabbit, and they like did Blockbuster commercials. Um, yeah, the tag is not no longer on it, but yeah, this, is, this little guy. Yeah, he's, he's a little cute guy. That's what he's still... The rabbit's upstairs somewhere. I have to find the rabbit, but... Yeah. Oh, and there's, uh... You know, more obsolete media. Some sealed cassette tapes. Another box of sealed floppies. Uh, there's that Apple adjustable keyboard that I talked about before. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of stuff I have to go through. Um, this is really neat. Once I have all the space set up, I want to do a video on this. This is a laser disc that is intended to plug into a Macintosh. Yeah, so it's as crazy as it sounds, very cool. Uh, the keyboard has a bunch of crap on top of it. You could Google an image and find, probably find a better one because, yeah. Oh, I love laser discs. I love them. I really love them. So yeah, I want to do a video about this. Um, there's the book and everything that's in here. Uh, I do have a, a working Macintosh SE now, which was pictured. On the front of it, you can see the Macintosh SE there. So I think it would only be, um, you know, appropriate. <laughs> Upside down laser disc turtle. Yes, I have a shirt with that on it. It's awesome. Um, yes, I like I like the laser disc. Yeah, um, yeah, laser discs are great. I'm a bit of an addict for them. I have a big collection of them. So, yeah. So that is something that I will be uh, doing a video on at some point. That is why it is sitting over here. So whenever I walk over here, it reminds me. Hey, Steve, you got to do a video on that. Exactly. Lasers and, and discs and, and huge formats. What more could you want? But yeah, I got that locally. Some guy just had it locally and I said, how much do you want for it? And he wasn't going to sell it and he eventually did. Like, Laser vision. 
Yes, I do have a computer controllable laser disc player. It's a LDV twenty four hundred or forty four hundred. I have I have a few of them. One, at least one or two that work. So. Yeah, yeah, digital uh, DVHS. That was a cool thing. I don't have a Muse laser disc player, and after what Techmoan uh, showed on his channel, I do not want one. The Muse high vision ones are way too complicated. You need a decoder, and they just are very unreliable. And and I realize they're really cool, but. It's just cost is prohibitive to me. So, <sighs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, I will probably be doing something with the ceiling. I don't know if I'm adding insulation or what. A lot of these wires uh, used to be when I had stuff running back and forth, so I could take some of those down. Um, I'd like to put in better lighting, so I'll be able to do that. But I'll keep you guys informed about how I continue throughout this. Obviously, first step is organizing and cleaning up all this crap because. That's what I got to do. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that Doomsday or Doomsbury project or whatever you say it, uh, they've been backing up laser discs. But, yeah, so that's about it for now. I mean, we've been cleaning for six hours now. So, well, I took a break for lunch. But, favorite video game console? Probably the Sega Genesis. It's what I grew up with. Sega Genesis was very fun. Saturn was also a great one. N64 is fun. Okay, it's, it's, okay, Doomsday is the, the way to pronounce it. Okay, thank you for confirming that, because whenever I read that, I was like, huh? Um, yeah, there's an ATI all in Wonder card there. There's, I always forget to turn back on my Synology here. Why is that off? Ah, mess with that out here. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, what about doing a Make a Mac Aquarium? I don't make Mac Aquariums, because all my Macs are pretty much complete, so... I don't really have a need to do that. I do have a, a spare key, a spare lime iMac case, but I don't think I'll do an aquarium out of that. And I don't, I don't need any more mouths to feed. So, ah, oh boy, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's that's it. Um, I'll probably do another stream where I'm cleaning up stuff. I probably won't be doing any recapping or repairs uh, right now. I really got to clean this area, otherwise I can't really work. Um, so, a few people emailed me asking for updates. I just am not working on stuff right now. Um, and this stream was an excuse to force me to clean and I think it worked. So I think we'll do this again, but thank you everybody. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It does help us grow. Please like the video also, and, uh, I'll catch you next time. So I'm going to awkwardly hit that end stream button. Appreciate all the questions, all the super chats, all the likes, all the shares, all that fun stuff. And, uh, we'll see you again from a slightly lesser basement. So thanks guys. Take care and have a good one.